Is your mic on? Could be. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. All right. We are. We are live. I am ready, John. We're we're um faded out right now. We'll be back. Cool. Super cool. Can you play, can you play some music that you want me? Uh, no, not at all. We haven't um haven't haven't rolled for table house or pick table house or anything like that. So yeah, no. Anywhere. Um, yeah, I wanted to frame up the um, and we can make changes and uh, like small changes to the camera on the fly and stuff like that. I wanted to frame up the table, but we've already got that in this shot. So I'm actually gonna bring this guy up a little bit. Show our pretty faces. Cool. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, a lot of the details only come out when you've actually started streaming. So yeah, welcome to paradise. Um, it's our third ever episode. Um, this is Mint Potions gaming stream. Uh, sorry, tabletop gaming stream. Um, and today um, we're playing Warhammer Forty Thousand. We are joined by John Solomony. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining us. Um, we're still here um, doing things a little differently because we're at the um, we're normally bi bi monthly, and today we are um, taking it week by week um, because this upcoming week we possibly um are gonna have our streams go down because we're upgrading some equipment so we we just want to keep streaming keep playing games keep streaming um so today um we're streaming on a day we don't normally so yeah uh john what are you playing uh, i have uh, myself uh my army of necrons uh they're kind of a mix of hand-me-downs and stuff that i've already assembled so uh they're not by any means finished but unfortunately that's all i've got to play yeah. with that's ready uh so currently i have uh 40 Necron Warriors, 10 Immortals, and three Triox Stalkers, and five Destroyers, and they're led by uh, two Cryptex and one Overlord. Super cool. Yeah, it's a rare gamer indeed, that a rare um, 40k gamer indeed, that actually has the patience and, and discipline to paint and build everything before they start playing with it. You know, I've yet to meet, yet to meet the gamer who doesn't just keep buying stuff. And uh, to throw it on the table and play with it, you know, um, that's what I've heard is that you're not really into this game until you've got a whole unbuilt army on your shelves. Um, so yeah, today, oh thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Cool. So, speaking of which, no sooner um, um, do we mention it that I'm bringing my my old. Oops, sorry about that, everyone. Um, my bad. I will be right back. Wow. Uh, I hit the hold button because your case doesn't have actual buttons. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you might rec you might remember the the Bane Blade, the never-ending Bane Blade, from when this show used to be Arts and Cracks, um, from when this show used to be all about um, the hobby aspect, where it was just building and painting. Um, our old, our old uh, producer and host Bennett um, was the the artist who painted, and I was I was the builder. Um, this is this is the guy I put on hold because I was so incredibly obsessive about him that I never never stopped. But I got I got all the burrs off of this giant model. I told myself this is going to be the centerpiece of my army. I don't want it to have a single line that's not supposed to be there. Um, so I'm actually pretty proud of it. I'm just not happy with how incredibly, incredibly long the whole thing took me. But I learned a lot about, about how to treat polystyrene um, to get it to look the way that you want. Um, but as we said before, paradise is not arts and cracks. We're all about playing. Um, so we started a little bit late. Thank you for your patience with that. Um, and right now, um, we're going to be using a modified... Uh, I'm going to be using a modified version of my list. Um, we were going to have a 100-point power level game, um, and um, but no, we're going to be modifying on the fly, doing a little bit of um, uh, of unbound play. Um, as we've been saying before, we're going to be as chill as possible, um, because that's the kind of stream we want. So, um, and that's one reason why we're playing in our kitchen, literally. Um, so yeah. Um, I always thought it was, at the time, ridiculous um, when the rule book would say, oh, you know, you know, you can play this game really casually. You know, it's for young people. You can you can play in your kitchen tabletop. So now here I am, a full-grown adult with a uh, uh, career of my own, helping to, with varying levels of success, produce the show. And I am, as a matter of fact, playing it on my tabletop. Um, so yeah, um, let's go ahead and get the big rule book out um, and get started. Super cool. Oh, you did. You brought your own. 
So, cool, cool, cool. Already ready. Um, so, dice. Dice, dice, baby. And believe it or not, that was one of the names I, I pitched my boss for this show. Dice, dice, baby. Um, not even I wanted to actually call it that, but yes. <laughs> that was one idea where I got shot down. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, Paradise, um, which, you know, um, not that I was worried about it. Um, uh, I did have to get approved, but Paradise, uh, Dice, Dice, Baby. Um, and there were a couple of other really, really bad ones. I shamelessly only, only offered a... Um, uh, only made one viable solution to get the one that I wanted, um, but you know it wasn't much of an approval process. Um, but um, uh, of dice and men, um, just um, on the tabletop was taken. Um, but just you know, mint potions table and you know crappy stuff like that. But I'm very happy and proud that we have paradise. Um, so yeah, um, let's and we're we're just going to be playing only war um, for this. Um, um, even though it's unbound, we're just going to keep it simple. Um, so yeah, let's roll some dice. All right, cool. Six. Yeah, ah. Well, you got me on that one. Ah. Okay, cool. So, sweet. You get to use your table halves. Yes, indeed. Um, I like this one because I'm standing by it. Fair enough. So, um, so yeah, man. We're only for one of the crates right now. Um, oh, that really matters much because, yeah. I mean, you have your codec. Flux yeah. Here. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one I who's got the actual I am jealous of this man's codec. As well he should be. You, this thing got incredible. The IG got such, and I refuse to call it the AM, I'm sorry. Thank you, yeah, no. The we IG don't call it the Astro Militarm in the studio. That just did, so be careful. <laughs> so, uh, and never I, mind being I refuse negative. to use the high gothic version because it's always going to be the IG, and that's, that's yeah. the way it is for me. And quite frankly, this man's codec, because he's always been an IG player ever since I've known him, and quite frankly, I have... I've been an IG player since 4th edition, so yeah. Yeah, so his codex got so good in the last update, and I get to get mine. I hopefully we'll get mine before the end of the year. For a long time. Uh, fingers crossed, and, uh, you know, holy aquila to the yeah. god emperor of mankind. So yes, uh, hopefully that I will get a codex before the end of the year, but uh, it's looking like I might be in for a long run. But still, all the stuff that oh, yeah. you've gotten this recent codex. You know you're getting your own, you know, uh, dynasty pack. You're getting chapter tactic for your dynasty. Essentially, well, That's super cool. Uh, but really, the only dynasty that matters is the Sotek dynasty. So really, oh, are you saying that because you've been a Necron lord for a long time? That's well, the only one you care about. That and also because most of the, his the most of the uh, um, heroes belong to that faction anyway. I think the only one who's different is I don't right, no no I don't right here. Uh, Krasin is no Krasin is is also Sotek. Uh, yeah, so Anrak here, the Traveler, I think, is the only one who is not. I think he is, uh, I'll actually look it up for you right now and tell mm -hmm. you which one he is. He actually does not list his guy. Really? Do you know he is a separate thing? Uh, he is separate because uh, pretty much everyone else is under Imotek, the Stormlord. Uh -huh. Whereas, uh, whereas um... Uh, Anrak here is sort of a crusading guy with his own mm -hmm. chapter. Well, not his own dynasty, really. His goal is to wake up all the tomb world. So, he's kind of independent. Mm -hmm. And the only other sort of independent faction is Illuminar Zerzas, who, who is uh, a crypt deck who kind of messes with things. And really, it's just because he's essentially a gun for hire. So, you, uh, you choose to buy his services by purchasing... Uh, by basically getting him whatever materials he needs. Usually material in this case is raw test subject. Yeah. So uh, please do not get caught by him. You will not live very well for the <laughs> next any time. So, yes. yes. But everyone else is pretty much the same dynasty. The only other dynasties really that exist are going to be pretty much for flavor. Mm. Uh, and they don't really have their own heroes per se, as far as I'm aware. Interesting. You don't think you'll get any new named characters or anything like that, do you? I doubt it, but I was really hoping that we'd get the Silent King model. I really was. Oh. Uh, I was... Oh. Uh, but, uh, you know, considering that everyone else is getting Primark, I was hoping against That's hope that really someone that might release. Even a Forge World model, I'll take it for a, uh, a Silent King model. Mm -hmm. Something to rival Primarchs, because the only yeah. thing I have that could kind of, sort of, not really at all... Uh, match up to a Primark or the Satan shard. Yeah. And they really. don't actually do compare at all to a Primark. <laughs> I, I don't care what you say. Their stats and uh, nothing else 
really works quite as well as a Primark on the tabletop, and no. I have nothing really <laughs> kind of to compare. You could uh, sort of say the, the, the Transcendence of Khan, but I, I don't eh, think so. No, not really. There. You're forcing a comparison at that point. Uh, yeah. The Silent King model would have been nice, because it would have oh, been yeah. awesome to have a essentially Lord of War infantry unit who would have gotten some really interesting rules. Yeah. And I would have had some really fun lore because we know he's back in the galaxy as far as mm -hmm. the lore is concerned. We know he's a, he's around. Oh yeah. And there's a suggestion that he might be one of the ones who's uh, responsible for the disappearance of um, uh, that one IG commander who was on uh, on Cadia, the one who disappeared oh. at the end of everything. Right, right, right. Uh, it, there's a suggestion that it's either him or Trazin who is responsible for his disappearance. But we know that uh, at the end of Gathering Storm, it is said that uh, that just before Katie up and went, a essentially the description was a Necron overlord of some sort basically picked them up and walked away with them. Mm. But uh, it, that overlord is never named. And considering Trazin was around already in the story, it would be w it's weird that they don't actually say, well, Trazin stopped and picked him up on the way out. No, it just says he essentially gives you the description, which is very highly suggestive of a Necron overlord, but it doesn't say Trazin. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I highly suspect that the Silent King was there making moves and he basically pulled out one of the Imperium's greatest commanders from uh, a really tough situation. Yeah. However, you guys didn't come here to hear me yak about this kind of stuff. You no, guys no. came to see, see me get killed. Because <laughs> against that Bane Blade, I don't think I have much chance. You know, we made it, and they did hear to come to hear you play 40k. I feel like most of our viewership, and again, we're in our third ever episode, and we've had a slow rollout, and, you know, we're upgrading our equipment, so we're going to pick up the pace next week. And I know I said that last time, but what can I say? I brought a brand new human being, so um, interpret that as you will. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll bring in just, you know, more and better people. Um, no, I'm, I'm sliding my friend to, uh, to bust this trap. But in all seriousness, um, we might have multiple games going at once in the future. So, like, these are actually two tables that we've covered up. We might be able to go between um, two different games uh, simultaneously. Uh, just to have more stuff going on. Um, but, yeah, no, they heard to check out 40K. They came here to check out 40K, and they did come to hear you, John. I certainly invited you over here so you could talk with us all. Um, so, yeah, don't feel bad. Um, but do 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 try and get killed though. Um, let's let's get into that. Yeah. Um, so I rolled uh, I rolled a six um, to uh, to deploy for us or to pick table halves. I picked the table half. Mm -hmm. So oh. you pick your table half, and how yeah. are we dividing the table? Just um, straight across, just yeah, right down just the straight across. Yeah, uh, right down the middle, correct. All right. Cool. Whoa. Ooh. No worries. Okay. Dun dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. It's okay, it's not my phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's got a case. I don't have to feel bad. Um, yeah, but it's not an order box. But anyways, <laughs> no, we are not sponsored. <laughs> not yet. Um, cool. Already then. Um, so that's the table halves. Um, and now uh, I believe you set up first. Uh, actually, I believe you do. Okay, cool. It's placed. So you have your first model placed. Okay. Next, I have. Sure. Considering what we have here, I want to set up my first set of models. Um. Right about there. <laughs> nice and yeah, delicate. Just in, just in a pile, because that's how they're going to end up in the end of yeah. all of this. Thank you, sir. Also, I will freely admit that I am going to be one of those players who is really glad that templates no longer exist, because I can do God, stuff, yeah. stuff like this now, and it will make total sense, yeah. which is basically deploy models in phalanx we're making. Mm -hmm. But you can go ahead and set up your next one because this is going to take me yeah, take a while. 20 models. Yeah. I well. should really get like a little tray or something because these guys are just going to be mar marching in lockstep. Huh. Cool. I'm going to check something on the stream while you do that. And yes, in case you guys can see it, the front halves of these guns have been chopped off. And I've done it for two reasons. One is mostly because they just get caught on everything. And quite frankly, I think the little rod there looks kind of silly. Uh, and also because the idea was that I was going to actually use that front end as sort of an axe that I was going to strap to these guys. So it looked like they're carrying combat weapons. But I haven't Ooh, gotten around to it yet, That's obviously. new. I hadn't heard that one before. That's awesome. Uh, I think I mentioned this to you last time. Oh, uh, I 
No, I don't think so. Not the, you know, strap to the back. Um, I love the way they look. Um, it looks great. So yeah, these Only guys are essentially wielding chopped version of the of the gas flare, but it is just um, the gas flare rule. They get no special bonus. It's not a special weapon. It's just a mod that I made and will Dope. eventually get it all painted eventually. Yeah, yeah. Did you see what my new models are for for guard? You've had a few new models, so I'm not I have sure. no new models. Oh no, no, no. I mean, like what the new what the codex gives me. Oh. Uh, yeah. there's also been a few new releases for that one. I haven't seen that yet. What we have in the way, excuse me, I'm just gonna change something real quick. Um, what we have instead are kit bashes, um, which I oh, love. Yeah, yeah, they no, those are my new models. They, the, the rules for them, yeah, I did yeah, see yeah, that. yeah. No, they made it official, they put it in the codex that um, kit bashes are now the way to go. I love kit bashing, I love that way of, of being creative. You know, I got really, really into. Sorry, I'm just trying to find, um, there we go. I got really, really into, um, uh, I'm gonna put up this one so I can monitor it better. Uh, really, really into creating my own um, art assets um, for, for all the work I was doing for school and for, for stuff like that, um, uh, even before I came here. And I realized that I have the power to, you know, to make whatever I want for this game and for any other. And then I realized that, you know, what I really love is Warhammer 40,000. You get really far away really quickly and easily from like the original designs. And I actually don't like that. I want to keep it, I, I love 40K. I actually want to not get too far away from it. So I really fell in love with kit bashing. With, with that, you know, that limitation actually gave me a lot more freedom, um, ironically. Um, and I love it. So I, I was really anxious about what they were going to do with new models because once I found out about the different um, regiments that they were... Um, I'm already set up, by the way. Um, oh, I, I did my one, then you... Yeah, <laughs> it's because I hit him well. Um, viewers can see it, you can't. That's exactly yes. what I want. Um, you know, I was like, you know what? Damn it, I'm going to have to buy a new army, aren't I? Because I found out what the rules were going to be um, for the new regiments when they leaked, and I was just like, I might be investing even more money into this game. Um, and I can't tell you how happy I was when they just sanctioned um, kit bashing. I had a couple of really cool kit bashes in mind that I was working on in what very, very little free time I had. Um, and that's the kind of thing that I'm gonna be showing off on stream. Um, we're not really ever gonna go back to the arts and crack model of doing things, but we are gonna show you guys the cool stuff that we have. Um, so yeah, um, that will come sometime in the future. And we've been um, buying up terrain um, at a nice pace. Uh, nothing's quite finished yet, so we're not using it, uh, as you've no doubt noticed. But yeah, we are expanding all the time uh, behind the scenes. Um, and I said it before, but it really, uh, I don't want to catch anybody by surprise. Uh, we're, all of our streams here at Min Potion are going to be going down for a week. Um, and it's probably this upcoming week. Um, so, um, so we can upgrade our equipment and train ourselves in our new equipment. Um, so by the time, th that just worked out really nicely for this show, because by the time that happens, um, we're going to have a lot of the stuff that I've been talking about ready. Um, so yeah. Oh man, you're not going to modify these models. Are you done? I highly doubt it. These are one models I already purchased that I had purchased from somebody. Uh, yeah, that's how I got my. That's how I got started in Warhammer, is and I actually bought an army off of eBay. Mm -hmm. And so this is what is remaining of my army, and they're really shoddily painted. They're not the best, but at this point, I it's not really worth having all the paint removed, and it's kind of fun just to have this sort of ad hoc little element to my army so i'll have the sort of standardized bits and a few other elements so that my army kind of looks a little patchwork because i might end up getting anra here for uh my main warlord and his army's patchwork so fluff makes sense uh but I, as for the actual two name characters i already have i do actually have um Chemotech. uh i have uh Nemes or Zandrech and uh, Vargard of Byron. You actually have those yeah. those actual models, but I will not be playing with them today because they cost more points than I really had uh, dun, more dun, power dun. than I really had uh, desire to invest in today. Cool. How but much power would that come out to? I was wondering what you would do with 100 point 100 power. Uh, I came out to 100 power exactly, actually. Nice. 
Uh, that's another man. thing that he really hates me for is that every single time I make an army list, I always manage to come out exactly at the number he asked me it's, for. It's one of the greatest bits of character to do with the Necrons is that they're so mechanical and technological that that's in everything about them, from their stats to their, their point and power level. Um, it's hilarious. Like, it's just this incredibly regimented, fine-tuned... Um, uh, character to everything that I just think is hilarious. Like you have these dead even across the boards because everything's so mechanical. Um, uh, <laughs> um, well, the only person right now in chat is uh, Link Waker. Hello, Darkness. How are you? Sorry, that caught me off guard because I love that song. Um, yeah, I thought it was hilarious that that they have that as part of their um, their character. Lots of lots of game design nerds out there. They'll probably appreciate that. But there are actual like references to to an entire um, an entire uh, game game organization's um, uh, character within the game design. Yeah. Let's. And by game organization, I mean like one of the races you can play, like like the next one. You know what? I'm just gonna put him here. Okay. Do you, sir? broken for a long time? Because I don't remember seeing his weapons. Uh, well, his weapons are underneath. Oh, no, no, I know, but I just remember... Um, oh, no, I'm, you don't usually play with the Stalkers as much. Um, so I'm normally only seeing the other guy who doesn't have his weapons. Oh, right. You have yeah, the, yeah. One, the one guy who I don't have the, the weapons mounted done yet because I haven't decided what I want to mount underneath. Cool. Your turn. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> don't apologize, dude. Oh, hell yeah. I'm so glad I tried that banal stab at making conversation. Because it made me realize that I have to, for, for, for work that I'm doing for Mint Potion, I have to texture um, a lot of metallic surfaces, and I just realized um, I can take so many photos for reference here in this room um, because of all, all the different grains of stainless steel we have. That's awesome. John, I missed you. John and I don't get a chance to see each other that often anymore, and I had this awesome opportunity to build a show on my own out of nothing so I brought him here and I'm already getting inspired and we're catching up and stuff like that yeah 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 uh, ah. oh yeah yeah I, I, uh, you, you, I, you I just shouldn't coming. be surprised at this point you just should not no I shouldn't no and I actually I really I am not because quite frankly I played against this guy enough times I know how he tends to play in mm -hmm. fact I'm one of the reasons he play he shifted his play style for a good long time because he uh Oh my God! Bef back in fifth edition, when uh, Necrons really were anti-vehicle heavy, they still every, are. Well, we, we kind of are, but I mean, back in the day, where every single gun can cripple a vehicle, and I had the entropic strike special rule, where I would just <laughs> throw scarabs at him and watch his tanks get devoured, very literally. Yeah. Uh, he essentially changed styles from being, as you see here, where you just have this mass army of tanks, just kind of sitting around everywhere to he would basically huddle up in a corner behind oh my god just defense line and just yeah. shoot me from a distance and hope i wouldn't get close yeah and of course back in those days i also had ex access to the um the cryptex teleport ability so i would be able to just plop a whole bunch of stuff right next to him um, and close the distance before he could really do anything. So that was something he was very happy got nerfed, oh. and I was not very happy got nerfed. God. But on the upshot, now he can deploy the way he used to back before he met me. Yeah. Uh, now you're just somebody I used to know. Yeah, now I'm just, out you in know, the open play style. Uh, now I'm the guy who's on the chopping block and has to basically sit there and... John, you're on the chopping block because everything you already had, and you got nerfed last last edition absolutely positively, because everything you had was so freaking good. Yeah, I mean, again... How much should you be complaining there, my not, friend? Not much I really should be complaining about, but I will yeah. always find reasons to complain, <laughs> because quite frankly, that's all we, we can do is... Uh, as video game nerds, yeah, or so game nerds, um, game, that's all we can do is complain. As ga game nerds and 40k players, pretty much every single time something happens our codices and what oh, and yeah. whatnot, we will always find something to complain about. Oh, yeah. uh, is that Basilisk deployed? Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, fair enough. I'll get my immortal set up. 
You don't have anything deep striking or doing anything else, uh, No, I um, did not have the power for it this time around. I have gotcha. with me a, uh, this is a, a brigade formation. So I do get okay, the extra cool. three, uh, the extra three command points for playing a brigade. But uh, I was trying to point it up to see how much power flash points it would cost me to bring a battalion in. Quite frankly, if I just brought the bare bones of everything in order to really get this, uh, get it for a brigade, even so, I would still be over my 100 point limit before adding HQs. <laughs> That's awesome. And what really kind of kills you is the, the heavy support because um, Necron heavy support's not cheap. Nor should it be. You're um, you're way too. You're you're too good, John. Yeah, the quite frankly, I can't I can't uh, object to that. Yeah. So the Necron heavy support. I mean, our do the Doomsday Arc alone is ten power, uh, an obscene number of points. I'm sure. Uh, so I'll grab the the Xenos Codex right here and get you that number. But. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the it's a casual game, so I'm actually gonna slightly move over one of my models if you don't mind. No, I don't mind at all, especially since I can't see them as it is. <laughs> I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. just don't destroy the terrain. <laughs> Please. You know what? These are these are stainless steel tables that that are here um, underneath, um, and I figure if someone actually managed to to flip this table over in anger, like all us tabletop gamers threaten to do every now and again, I think I'd be so impressed I wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't. Actually, I would be very scared and very annoyed if someone did that because the chances of our models getting destroyed afterward is extremely high with a steel and steel table, and I would be very, very pissed at my models getting destroyed. Afterwards? What, like someone would flip the table over, there'd be some left, and be like, hold on, let me, let me, let me just... No, I mean, the fact that if you flip the table, it's likely going to have our models underneath it when it lands. <laughs> And then we basically will have a very expensive set of plastic Oops. paperweights for us to play with later. Yeah. My, my, my warrior blob here Oops will be daisy. a singular blob. Uh, yeah. Probably something I could find lunch off of. Yeah. Because it'll be that flat and one piece. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, I put the uh, wrong turret in the wrong tank there. I don't know where. Oh, thank God it's right there. And as always, I have my cliff count. For, for oh, yeah. those of you who are just starting out, I do recommend doing something like this. Totally. Where you actually write down pretty much the composition of your army, everything from what you have, what their power and toughness is, and all the other pertinent stats and the weapon stats and little things to remind you about. Because when you actually do that, it ha hammers into your head little details you're likely to forget and will probably come in handy later. Mm -hmm. So actually yes, writing indeed. it down helps. I will say, though... John's Necron Codex is a pamphlet. M almost all the other codices are very, very... Let's. Oh, that's a good argument to get going in chat. Do you say codexes or codices? Let's find that out. Oh, let's let's start that war right now. Um, um, I, I would argue yes. codices, but yes. Uh, I've heard Honestly, both. so would I. I just, I, it's one of the big nerd arguments I actually really enjoy. Um, uh, so I, John is, I totally concur with John. I think that's a great idea for everything you just said. Um, you know, it's, it's the type of homework that us tabletop gamers love. This game is as beloved as it is because it's so rich and, and deep and complex, um, for a tabletop game. Um, but you know, you're, a lot of the codices out there aren't going to really, um, allow for that, um, just because they're going to be that complicated. So bear that in mind, you know, um, John's definitely a smart enough, a studious, studious enough person to do that for all his armies. And he does. Um, but, you know, that's going to be a lot harder to do for, like, a Necron army. And it might just stop being fun. Um, um, I'm oh, sorry, yeah. harder for, uh, like, a Tyranid army or something like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, if you have the time to set up and actually do that, I would highly recommend it. Use a PDF or uh, not PDF. Uh, there we go. Use, like, a, a spreadsheet program or something, Google Sheets or mm -hmm. uh, Microsoft Excel or something. Just set it up before time and print it out. That way you have everything around. And really, actually type it up. Don't copy and paste. Yeah. If you have the time and the inclination to do so. If you're just showing up someplace and you're throwing a game together, don't bother. Just, yeah. you're, just uh, use the sheet. Uh, another thing that you might want to try doing is um, they actually, with the release of the new, co of the new codices, they have 
everything in card format. Mm -hmm. So what you could do is I you, love that. If you have uh, have yourself a decent printer and don't mind spending the ink for it, copy the pages and then print it out on hard stock and then cut it out so that you have That'd be dope. The individual cards. That mm -hmm. way you know when you're playing you can just put the cards out and just remember what you have except to what. And it helps you it helps you out a lot. Uh, oh, the downside of doing that, however, is that you can bend the, bi the, the uh, binding of your book, and if you really want a machine book, yeah, that's probably something you're not going to want to do. Yeah. Also, the the uh, digital versions of the uh, of the uh, Games Workshop codices, I don't know if you can print them. I've tried um, printing a test copy that they issue out, and it it's doesn't really easy. do it. Yeah. So. Um, just be aware if you're going digital, you might have to find some way around that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, are you cool. place? Yeah. All right. So now I get to start placing these cues. So there's one guy right there. Cool. Uh, I'm sorry, I gotta check something in my book. Do 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 This is a five foot table, right? Five foot wide by six feet long. Six feet long. Okay, yeah. so I'm three foot mark. I'm gonna make sure I'm just I want to make sure that I'm behind the line on the, on the deployment. Okay, now. that's a friendly game. You know, we're just hanging out and playing games for these, sure. these but first I am. few episodes. I just, I'm right at the line, to be honest. Awesome. So I, which is yeah. kind of odd for eye eyeballing it. <laughs> uh, not at all. Um, but I it should be good. Right at that line. I'm kind of proud that I just eyeballed. Oh, yeah, this is where I need to be. Yes, indeed. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Sorry. You would tell. Oh, they, uh, they just made the tank commander model. A, um, as I said, we're, we're adapting because we had to start late, and thank you for your patience. Pardon me. With that, we had some, some very funny technical difficulties. Um, and I, I, I mean that. We, um, we just retraced our steps from how we got everything to work uh, last time and found some, that we made um, something impossible possible last episode, and so we couldn't replicate it. Um... So thank you for bearing with us, and I'm modifying my list um, kind of on the fly. So I was just checking checking point values, and they used to have the tank commander be an upgrade to a Lehman Russ. So there is this very arbitrary back and forth between figuring out how many points the thing just cost. Now it's just a single a single model is an HQ. So yeah, no, they just made my life easier, which is great. Cool. Oh, and I just like how much how badly you react to it. Um, grinding advance. Like I just I just yeah. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Don't move, shoot twice. You yeah. Move. No, no, I can move. I just have to move less than half. I mean, you, I, you move less than half speed, which for a Lehman Russ is what? Six inches? Yeah, and it's it's the turret weapon only. Like, that's that's all. Like that's fine. Okay. That's that's I mean, absolutely it's, fine. That, it's but the turret still. weapon only. That's the part I didn't quite catch the last time I read that rule. I thought yeah. it was all of his guns, oh, but God, still. Oh, no. Just the fact that he, I'm sure I'm going to be up against the Punisher because he hasn't told me his list. I know, yes, that look right there. I can wasn't planning on it, but I could. But yeah, I, I know if I'm, no, going, I up against his Lehman, if, if I'm going up against his Lehman Russ Punisher uh, with that uh, 20 shot Gatling cannon that's going to rain hell upon me and he fires that twice in a round, 40 shots, uh, his ballistic skill is going to score at least 10 kills a turn. Maybe I will Just proxy that that good idea john thank you no yeah, because um just unless you want to test that like i'm like i i was just sort of goofing around um last episode and it actually turned out to be a really like fruitful uh play test so do you want to actually test that and see like what a puncher would do if you want again okay, I, cool uh i know just from the math I, that's kind of how i figure because you're getting 40, okay. sh 40 shots at 50 plus, 50 at 50 50 so that's 20 hits mm -hmm. that mean and considering the strength of the gun is what strength six so five. Strength five. Okay, so even so, even against my immortals, you're wounding on a four, on a four plus. But it's two thirds of those of those hits are going to score wounds, uh, which is two thirds of twenty. So ballpark that one around um, sixteen kill, sixteen wounds roughly. Mm. So is that right? Three, six. Yeah. So. Seems. Yeah. No, everything seems fine. With so yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. about sixteen, you know, about fifteen, sixteen wounds that he's gonna land, and 
uh, it's AP minus two, right? For the Gatling Cannon? Oh my god. Um, no, 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 no. It's, it's gonna be, um, AP nothing. Um, it's AP nothing, even so. Oh my standard, god, can you on imagine? A standard, on a standard warrior, can that's going imagine? to be, uh, a four up, a four up save for, so that's gonna be half of them. So statistically speaking, you're going to get at least eight. Yeah. Which will force a test. And unless I roll yeah. exceptionally well, yeah. you're gonna get probably one or two on that die. Oh yeah. And which brings again my total casualties down to ten on a turn. Against other, and that would be the same against normal space marines too, because they have essentially the same saves. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing is they have a little slightly better chance, so they're going to shrug off a few more of those wounds. So they're going to have maybe six people go down to that Gatling cannon barrage. But they have smaller squads. They only take squads of 10, and they have leadership 9 versus my squad of 20. So I could absorb those losses a little bit better than a group of space marines can. Mm-hmm. Uh, I should also point out that uh, for those of you who are wondering, yes, I do get to stand back up if I roll on them, but uh, the uh, for models that run away, I don't get to roll for those. So, fair, point, fair, fair notice on reanimation protocol rolls. In case anyone, Sorry, could you, roll. you say that again? That was actually something I was going to ask you about when we got started. But yeah, so for reanimation know. protocols, the roll, uh, the Nacron special rule is that uh, for a roll of five plus. Uh, for any casualty that I suffer, mm -hmm. gets has a chance to stand up. However, if they run away for failing morale, those do not count as casualties for the purposes of reanimation protocols. So I do not get to roll for those characters. Gotcha. However, I do get to roll for everything else until the unit is wiped out. And that's every single turn. So if I don't get it this turn, I might get it back next turn, assuming the unit is still there. Hmm. But yeah, anything that runs away does not get a chance to stand back up. They cool. are gone. They Bo buggered off. They te teleported out. They hit it. They hit the uh, oh my god button and <laughs> just kind of teleported out. Nice. That's and assuming that they're German. I mean, they're yeah. sixty some Why odd. Not? They're they're probably seven. They're a race that's about seventy some odd million years old, if not older. I what makes you think closer to a hundred million years old? What makes you yeah. think that we wouldn't that they wouldn't talk with a German accent? Let's not make that assumption. Because they're they're uh, like these culture something is, that highly, sounds is highly based on Egyptian yeah. Aztec culture. That's true. So really, yeah. e Egypt and Aztec. I would say Aztec because the, you know, interesting. The biggest thing we see is we see a lot of the big feathery hair headdresses. True. We see the scaled back. We see pyramids, which is common to both, really. So Indeed. we can, we, well, well, it's highly suggestive, especially the names yeah. suggest Egypt. Oops. We we Oops, don't really, that. we we can also kind of suggest that it's um, much like this guy. Go ahead and hold that in place, please. Yeah, hold the hold the camera, please. So yeah, do, 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 do. the uh, these guys are highly suggestive of being Egypt, but we can also kind of see or infer perhaps. Uh, maybe a, a little bit of uh, that. Um, yeah, good call. That South I American accent there, especially because yeah, yeah. if you really kind of look at them, they are kind of based on the Teuton Kings in fantasy. Yeah. But there's also sort of that Thank that uh, lizardman feel that could be sort of inferred or added on there as well. Good call. I always thought it was pure Egypt and Toon King, you know, inspiration, and that I just you know was seeing stuff about the. Uh, I don't know, that I didn't understand when I saw stuff like the, the scaled capes and the big headdresses. But that's interesting. Yeah. That's awesome. It's cool. Um, and you placed, right? Yeah, I placed um, my mine, and then you were working out with yours. I'm not sure what you placed last. Oh, yeah, you're... There's a chimera hiding behind okay. this thing. I think I placed uh, after, after I placed the Okay, well, go so ahead. That's a friendly game, you know. So I placed the We're other still just hanging out and playing here, games, you know? And you have the next place. Cool. And I'm pretty sure you're going to. Oh, there are first. psychers in here, by the way. Oh, I forgot to mention. Psychers, fun. Yeah. Nothing I can do about that. We don't have a brain cell among us. Um. Yeah, that's the downside of playing Necrons. No psychers. Yeah. And I don't have yeah. two spiders with me, so. Ah. Yeah. Cool. 
You know what? Let me do some quick math and make sure that I'm not that I'm not going over real quick. Um, you said Again, that it's you're a friendly game. It, sure, no, but I mean, like, I'm I'm I was thinking of being way under a um, hundred for the sake of for the sake of time, but it's okay. We started late. We can go we can go over um, by some. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if we're if we're gonna finish or not, but it's fine. As far as we get, folks, as long as yeah. you guys are watching, we'll we'll keep yeah. playing. Yeah, you know what? Let's um let's keep it at this. You know, I'm at. Uh, I'll tally up the points and see where I am. And uh, and go from there. I really want to start using um, Smite. Um, I've got a box of models I could actually use it, but I've never actually in a in a game of Eighth Edition myself. So I think that's the only infantry I'm going to play with is okay. my my um, three sanctioned psychers in a in a Chimera, and the rest is a Hellhound, a Demolisher with Punisher Cannon, um, and three Lehman Russ um, fully kitted out, totally WYSIWYG. The only proxy is going to be the Demolisher is not. Um, it's not a demolisher with a cannon, with a demolisher cannon. It's a demolisher with a punisher cannon. Um, imagine, if you will, that this Bane Blade has, um, has the Bane Blade cannon and the, um, has the Bane Blade cannon and the, uh, the third pair of, focus. There we go. Um, Bane Blade cannon, a heavy stubber, hunter killer missile, and the, uh, the second pair of heavy bolters. And yes, I absolutely, on this gigantic gunboat, went for the one-shot hunter-killer missile and the little heavy stubber. I just thought that was hilarious. I, I, I just thought it needed more guns. I really did. <laughs> so yeah. Cool. This is 40k. You could never have you enough guns. You could never guns. have too many guns. You kidding me? You kidding me? Okay. Um, so yeah, um, I do really, I'm really curious to see um, what points has come out to exactly. If you remember the game that Preston and I played last time, we were just, you know, kind of bummed out because we had a lot of technical difficulties. Um, the hilarious one that I was talking about earlier where we made something work that literally shouldn't have. Um, it should not have been technically possible what we did. So we played just with our Titanics. It was just his Storm Surge and just my um, Bane Blade. Um, and it was really productive. Um, it was, as I was telling John, we ended up like really proving that these Titanic units really are for support only. Like, you're just like, okay, we're just going to run up, and it's actually going to be pretty exciting, you know, having these two big things. And it's just not. You know, you'd be amazed at how well-balanced the Titanic units are for um, uh, for having short-range weapons, you know? Like, you really just can't do can't do that much. You can't, much, can't do that much of them until they get a lot closer. And if they could move faster, um, or if um, you just had um, a whole force going, you just do more damage. Like it's, it's actually pretty difficult to describe, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, so far we have... Um, 47, um, 49, what's 49 plus 28, um, 67, um, 67, and then that only leaves the, um, the Hydra, I'm sorry, the, um, Hellhound, um, it's hiding in the front, that's annoying, um, oh my god, where are you? Brand new book, I love it, got that brand new book smell. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know where anything is. Um, so sorry for the terribly exciting neat flipping through pages footage. Um, six. Okay, so I'm I'm at under um, what did I say? Eighty-seven or sixty-seven? Excuse me. Uh, you are sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. So, so I'm gonna be at yeah. um, seventy-three, and we're gonna see how that goes. You're at seventy-three. Okay. Well, that means I'm gonna have to drop some points because I have obviously sure? way more than that. Yeah. So uh, let me go ahead. Oh, I forgot about my weird vein. No, I'm um, keep, uh, finish what you're saying, and I'll get the numbers. So uh, I'll wait for his actual numbers because I yeah. actually have all my numbers here and I know what that to drop. Yeah. Uh, what is absolutely again essential. Necrons, man. You can, everything's so clear cut. Like I have such I have such ugly, clumsy numbers to work with. Um, God, that must be nice. Oh, did you get it? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna buy a bug assault for the studio. That's not a big deal. No, I want to. I wanted those for a while. Um, wow, while that's one. While okay. he gets the bug assault, I'll just keep uh, smacking these things in the air every so often. So. Yeah. I find it's good training. Good <laughs> hand-eye coordination. Video games aren't enough for you? Well, to be fair, all you do with video games is this. Not quite. True. So. Eh. We'll get you. We'll, we'll, we'll it helps get you get your timing done. The video games yeah. do help No, it does. No, I was going to say, we'll, we'll get you playing some VR games around here, man. Um... Now that you're, now that I finally got you up here. No, I wanted to have bringing John for a while, and um, we'll play some VR games and see where it goes. Um, crap. Yeah. So that that whole unit of three guys is one point. IG folks. Yeah. Or one power level. Excuse me. 
That's awesome. Yeah, I'm not complaining about that at all. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, so it's 77 and um, like three points for the uh, Kenra. Um, so yeah, okay, so, so call it 80. So 77, that means I have to drop a few things. Yeah. I'll call it 80, because I remember the Chimera being three at the top of my head, and I'm double-checking that now. Well, unfortunately, it looks like my destroyers are not going to hit the table. Ha! I wish they could, but... Um, actually, you know, with all this firepower on the table... Do it. Do it. With all this firepower on the table, I really kind of want to keep them. Especially because they, because they can keep up, but there's another unit that I really want on the table more than I want the best destroyers. Mm. So... Six points. Okay, never mind. I totally misremembered that. Um, so yeah, I'm at uh, 83. 83. Okay, yeah. Uh, if, I, if I leave the destroyers off, that gives me 85. That around might be a bit. So, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop one of my triarch stalkers. Okay. And then, yes, I do say triarch. I've heard it pronounced triarch, or uh, because there's actually a uh, unit in um, in Roman uh, mythology, uh, or not mythology, in, Rome, in the Roman culture, the history, yeah, the, the uh, triaria, which is probably what the, n the unit name was based on. Mm. Uh, however, I say triarch because they're Egyptian, not uh, not Roman. I like it. So, uh, although it probably is triarch because even in even in Egypt, Rome had its influence. Mm -hmm. So anyway, oh, yeah. so one of the the one stalker goes away. That Egypt was Rome's granary. Mm, only towards the end. That's a good point. Uh, it, w it wasn't until Caesar Augustus was it? Yeah, Caesar Augustus and Octavius were that actually became a right, right. Uh, and that wasn't until way late in the... They were their own empire long before Rome was... Oh, yeah. It, put it to you this way, folks. Uh, the Cleopatra, the queen that we all have heard about, is closer in time to the launch of the space shuttle than she is to the foundation of the pyramids. Yep. Let that sink in for you. That's freaking cool, man. Okay, so I am going to drop my stalker, That's an and I'm awesome also point. going to drop. Well done. Uh, So I will get only four of my destroyers on deck, but I will get a full unit of nine scarabs on. So I'm gonna swap this guy out, he's got a better base. Oh, those bells, I'm at 90. Okay, so with 90, uh, I get my last destroyer back, but mm -hmm. I, I'm going to... Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave that one off, and I can split my scarabs up into two units. Mm. These guys are gonna hang out right over here. I only get four. Yeah, and then I get two units of six scarabs, and that should be exact. Exactly 10 points down from 100 points. Cool. If you're at 90, then this is exactly 90. Sweet. Ah. I used to do the best King of the Hill. Or King of the Hill. Hank Hill impression. Yep. And I lost. I don't know what happened. I think I got a job where I talk for a living, and it genuinely changed the way my voice sounds. As well, it should, but nonetheless, like, I can't do impressions the way I used to, and I find it genuinely depressing. Oh. As someone who does who does voices for, for, for quite often, yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually um, this is not the only game that I play. Uh, for those of you online who have never known me before, which is pretty much all of you, I would imagine. <laughs> uh, 
I, I highly doubt anybody who I know is actually watching this stream. But um, not yet. Uh, the um, the other game that I play quite frequently is D and D, uh, and I am the DM for multiple campaigns. So how many are you up to? Like in all seriousness, he was at seven at one point. Uh, in the middle of like last year, five actually, but yeah. Oh, um, well, you were trying to get two going. I, I remember was seven. I was like, John, John, John. I was well. I was requested to do a couple more. Um, was or was not? No, I was. They they asked for me to to actually uh, DM a couple more, and uh, that's what um, that's what I was doing. But the um, no, I actually ended up with doing five campaigns at once. Uh, one fourth edition, and they asked for five, fifth edition campaigns. Uh, well, actually, no. One of them was also Pathfinder. So I had one Pathfinder, one uh, uh, fifth edition, or one uh, fourth edition campaign, and the others were um, fifth edition. The fourth edition, by the way, for those of you who hate on it, yes, I hate it too. I just, or it's it's the longest running campaign that I've been involved in, and uh, quite frankly, I can't wait for it to end. I was just gonna say, you said it was gonna be over in a couple weeks, a couple months ago. Yeah, it was gonna be over in a couple of weeks, a couple months ago, and that was before half the players decided to take a few weeks off. Oh, so it hasn't been drawn out anymore. It, I'm sorry, the, like nothing in game is drawing it out. It's simply been it's, on like hiatus. Yeah. Okay. It's, we're. Uh, we, we've this is a group that's been playing literally for about 10 years now yeah i have i'm one of those players who has been dogged and relentless enough to finish a campaign that's gone on this long yeah but um no the, you're a good uh, nerd john the reason why this campaign is still ongoing is because quite frankly uh for because players are not available and um this is a campaign where every single player is integral to the plot so we all have to be there so yeah. uh yeah the, the that's by design though it is by design, okay. but it's also we're uh, we're at the level where we're interacting with gods. We are fighting gods. We are doing things that are shaping the the, the course of the cosmos, and dealing and we're regularly wielding forces that uh, no mere mortal really should have any right to. But and they're still all level six. No, no, no I'm <laughs> kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, Can you imagine? No, we're we're at max level for fourth edition, which is level thirty. Cool. Although technically, uh, if you were to actually level, give us a proper levels that our characters have power ability of, we're at level thirty two. And uh, when we we actually have a form that combines all of our powers together, that is a level thirty five, mm -hmm. which is higher than most gods actually. <laughs> so. Tomaki and T Mad. I was running around doing stuff, and our our uh, chat monitor went down. Hi guys, guys. This is John Tomaki T Mad. This is this is one of my best friends. This is um, um, yeah. No, this is. Uh, I I really don't like saying that. One of my best friends. I have I have you know three people I consider my brother, and this is one of them. This is this is John. Um, yeah. No, this is this is my. I just say my best friend now, and just do that interchangeably for the three minutes. So this is my best friend, John. Um. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Tomaki and T-Mat are two of our most regulars. Um, we had some, I think, I think you guys will actually find this hilarious. Uh, we had some very funny, um, technical issues where I'm setting up the stream myself because that's, that's one of the things I'm going to be doing here is, is producing these myself. And I was just repeating my, my own steps and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, nothing was working and it's because, um, Preston, who was with us, uh, last week, um, managed to make something work that literally shouldn't be technically possible. Um, so I thought that was hilarious. So I've been running around kind of a lot since the stream started, so I didn't see that you guys were with us. But thank you, Tomaki and Team Ed, for being with us. Um, um, yeah, absolutely. Um, Tomaki and Team Ed are two of our, our most regulars, along with uh, Garyan and James Rogers and and um, McPherson Sound. So you'll hear those names a lot. Um, yeah, John, if you're not on Discord, um, we have a really awesome community here. Um, they chat with us on Twitch, obviously, as we're here, but also on um, uh, on Discord. Um, so yeah, you should sign up. You don't have one. All right, so we'll work on that later. But first, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, whoa, get whoa. To the, let's get to the word you were actually yeah. butchering me yeah. at because, quite frankly, I don't stand a chance. Super cool. Oh, you did finish deploying first. Yeah. Because you have your models and quite this frankly, I've brought a lot. Yeah. 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 There is actually a, a working stove yeah. behind us, just in case you're wondering. So oh, we, yeah. we are being very cautious of that because there are pilot lights lit there that we can mm -hmm. actually catch fire on. Yeah, for real. So, uh, um, yeah, we're an industrial spot. That means that the uh, even our even our kitchen's industrial, and and yeah, it the pilot lights are all up, which oh. is not good for someone wearing their mic pack. Yeah. Um, yeah. Welcome to raisins, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, but no, we're um, um, we wanted to start the stream as just being as casual as possible, just you know, literally hanging out and playing games with us before we build it up. Um, Which means next week I'll actually be cooking behind us while we play. Yeah, I was I was gonna give you like the soft pitch on that, like maybe John, I thought it would be cool, but don't be like you know, don't feel burdened upon. It. And then John brought it up himself. She's like, oh, I'm just gonna show up and bring Turkish coffee and stuff like that. And I was just like, oh, this is gonna go great. Right, cool. So, so we're rolling off. You get your plus one, which doesn't really matter because I've rolled two ones for yeah. this game, and these dice are going to end Why up on the, that I burner by the end yeah. of this game. Why would I get the plus one? Uh, you, uh, whenever you finish deploying first, whoever, whichever player deploys first or finishes their deployment first gets a, gets a fixed plus one to their roll for determining initiative. I'm not Battleforge, then. So. Huh? Isn't that only for Battleforge? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Friendly game. Friendly. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, in that game, case, and I'm guessing that means we won't be using command points either. So, um, you certainly can. Uh, you you managed to be Battleforged. Um, and good for you. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna punish punish those playing properly. Um, so go for it if you want to. Anyways, uh, but it is uh, you did win, uh, win your uh, yeah the roll. So unless I, I unless I roll the C's now, right, which right. I will attempt to do because I would like to get certain units into cover before anything nope. happens. But nope. And I'm going to change dice while he uh, goes ahead and gets the first one around because these dice are just not doing it for me right now. <laughs> are you actually changing dice? Yes. <laughs> Good man. I would do the same. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you at? Done. And yes, this kid is full of dice. I have a problem. Good man. Oh full of dice. This is actually John's. He gave it to me. Um, really nice uh, buff suede. One of those gifts for no reason. Um, so well, thank you, John. The case for dice, so <laughs> I had an extra one lying around. Oh, I wasn't yeah. using it. I figured, eh, here, you have it. Wow. Cool. Are we going to call these difficult terrain, John? There's no such thing in this game. I mean, are we going to call this um, something other than a crater? Sorry. No. Thank you, Kajima. Okay. Cool. In that case, that's all fine. And we keep going. Difficult terrain for those of you who are new to 40k used to be a thing where it would slow down your movement. Yeah. However, it's been removed from the game because it quite frankly bogged things down and there were too many yeah. people arguing over totally. what is and is not difficult terrain. Yeah, yeah. And I have all the old terminology stuck in my head, so I, I often get updated and corrected by John. You know, I'm just thinking the terrain sheet that's in the back, and but I still call it difficult terrain and such. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. This guy's my HQ, by the way. The guy yeah. with the um, the peak cat. You, you know me. What I usually do. The guy with the officer's cap is usually yeah, the tank that, That's Pax, isn't it? No, it's not quite Pax. Oh. Pax is one of the most uninspired models ever, but I do own him. Um, well, I mean, but he's acting. No. No, no, no. In that case. Yeah. He's interesting, though. He's he's one, he's one power... Um, uh, He's a one power um, upgrade only, so he's very tempting. So let's move you two and a half inches, Mr. Punisher. Let's start punishing. Just call him Frank. Come on, Frank. Yeah. Time to castle. <laughs> Thank you, John. I am looking Whoa. forward to that Netflix series, by the way. That's going to be a really interesting one. It's Good show. Are these still really powerful anti-vehicle? Your your scarabs? Yes. Your scarabs? Okay, cool. See, the thing about scarabs, see, the, the old rule about scarabs is that you have the entropic strike rule, which meant that if any time at any time they scored uh, an unsaved wound, they would. Uh, oh no! Or, so well, sorry, actually, John. even before rolling for so for wounds, sorry. you would roll for entropic strike, which would automatically lower a vehicle's armor value on all sides, back when vehicles still had facing. So, um, but uh, now what scarabs do is that instead of uh, thank you, instead of uh, thank you, thank you. rolling for uh, for armor piercing or whatever it is, what it is is that now we roll for or uh, basically they never roll for uh, less than five on when they roll the wound. Nice. So it is a uh, fair easily against vehicles because even against something that would be toughness 10 which mathematically they would have an impossible time hurting they still wounded on a five plus yeah. so they have a one in three chance of scoring a wound and they have five attack sorry uh four attack what yeah they d are they one of the units that got the um what used to be the standard um i got it but thank you though that used to be the standard where if you charge you get plus one 
Uh, no. Okay. They uh, they don't get an extra attack. They just have five attack base. Gotcha. Um, there are very few models. Uh, again, with the the new rules, they have the uh, it's the piece of equipment that gives you the extra attack. And there we go. Good idea. Just thinking that. <laughs> um. Yeah, and uh, they don't have that. They just have their their base models on the. Uh, or the base attacks on their profile. Okay. So they used to have actually five attacks. No, they used to have four attacks still because they had three on their profile and they would get one for charging. Right. So, but now it's just they have four. Cool. But they 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 hit on a three plus and they uh, they wound on a five plus at worst. So they're still really good units. The only downside really is that they have no save really. They have a <laughs> six plus. Armor, which out here basically means nothing. God, I got so excited when you said no save because I thought you were meaning that literally. I was just like, okay, let's do this. Uh, against most vehicles, uh, including that Gatling Punisher, that six up is going to mean pretty much nothing because 16% chance. Yeah, that really doesn't do much. Yeah. Work. You know what? I'm going to get really into grinding advance and see how this goes. Move the whole thing over. Can happen. Yes, there we go. Well, let's see if I can hit anything. Uh, uh, uh. Could have made that much cleaner. Sorry about that, everyone. Let's say it went there. You comfortable with that, John? That's fine. Okay. Um, he's not moving. Um, no, you don't move a basilisk. You don't move a basilisk. You don't move a basilisk. Don't do it. Oh, I almost forgot to move the Hydra. I believe the Hydra still gets a huge amount of movement, though. I'm gonna have to move these these chairs here because oh, they go keep for it. snagging. Sorry, oh, folks, the mic they, pack. They yeah, snagging my mic pack. Don't it's, apologize. Uh, it's one of those things where I'm, I'm more worried about them ripping up my mic in the middle of <laughs> while we're doing something important than. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Yeah. No, I thought I was like, oh, that's very cute. Ed, the uh, photographer who who has a space here in the uh, the studio space that we share. This is his um, photography space that we have all the cameras set up in, um, and our kitchen back here. Um, and he, I thought it was just kind of charming that he's got these director's chairs, being you know like um, a photographer. And then I realized, no, that's extremely practical. That's way cool. Um, yeah, I do want to move you out that far. Okay, actually, I'm going to move these out from back here because they're labeled the box. Excuse me, I'm going to cut across oh over no. here, folks. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Either that or put them on top of the shelf and use them as healing. No. I not the expensive camera for that. <laughs> Already in it. Hey, now I have more standing room. Nice. Oops. Boop, boop. I think I want to make. Yeah, this guy's actually got to move the full. I think I missed that. Oh, well. oh well. Brand new codex. Playing it for the first time. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Wow. Yeah. You know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys a little more. I forgot that these that the um, uh, Lumen Rest now move ten. I thought they would shorten it to six because grinding advance is so good. So I'm actually gonna finish moving this guy another two and a half inches, and I'm gonna do the same up here. Yeah, you know what? No, he's actually fine where he is, given everything that's coming for them. Oh, I forgot to pivot you. Well, not that it matters over much because, quite frankly, the way the game rules are set up, you just have to draw a line of sight from the from the chassis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I like the the cinematic look of it. I have to say, but yeah, no, John's exactly right. Now, uh, line of sight is is straight up. You know, is the model there? And I think. Yep. 
Nice. Take that all day long. Okay. Yeah, man. Super cool. All right, that's my my movement phase, and I'm not gonna be moving. Um, I'm not gonna be advancing at all. Um, you know. Um, cool. Now, my absolute favorite part. Well, actually, let's check that. Let's see. I don't remember off the top of my head that craters were were dangerous for anything, but. Um, Definitely a good, um, thing to make sure of. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Cool. I don't think they give you much of a bonus to anything. No. So, unless you're, and in the unless you're infantry. In that yeah. case, if you stand on it, then, well, then, then you get, uh, cover safe. But other than that. Yeah, well, you, no. the model has to be wholly, the, the, the unit has to be wholly within it in order to get the bonus, though. So. <laughs> Uh, for infantry, it's model by model, oh. which is which is way more powerful. No, this game really did become all about infantry, which is super interesting to me, um, because before things were actually more balanced, and it kind of ruined the game because it just disincentivized stuff that had a relatively lower, um, you know, stat line. But now it's just you have so much more um, interesting stuff to do if you're infantry that they actually kept a lot of the stats pretty much exactly the same. You know, small squishy guys are crappier in a big tank, but they get to do cooler stuff. I'm a big fan of that kind of game design. Um, cool, man. Um, I'm going to blow you to pieces now. Yeah, this is it's all uh, the same to you. Steve's favorite part of the game. Shooty, shooty gun time. That's the time. Oh, yeah, that's the time. <laughs> um, usually, this first. is my least favorite time Let's of the game because it's, for my dice, I usually whiff horribly. and uh, Whiff it real good. The only time... I actually do get lucky occasionally. Story of my life. Yeah, the, the one of the first few times I played against him with my Necrons, I did what I call an Iron Man against Oh him. my god, it was awesome. So, um, back in the 5th edition, we had a thing called a Tachyon Arrow, which only one model has, but anyways. So, this thing is essentially a one-shot rocket, which if you remember from the first Iron Man movie, there's a scene where he uh, basically fires that little wrist rocket out and blows up a tank as he walks away from it yeah. casually. Uh, yeah, I did that to him. So do a full wound Lehman Russ. Just uh, just uh, hit it face on and then rolled high enough and blew it up because yeah. that was a strength 10 AP1 weapon. And it's 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 a one use only weapon. Like it's a hunter killer missile, you know, like on, on all the Imperium tanks, um, but for, for, for a single Necron character. And it's on an infantry unit. Yeah, and he did it first turn. Yes, I did. Didn't, you, didn't you like seize the initiative that turn too? I don't think it was that. Okay. Was the case. I don't think it was that funny. It yeah. was. It, I mean, you, you, you gave me a bit of a shellacking at that point, but I I marched forward. <laughs> so cool. And, uh, I just remember mm -hmm. the first guy just got up. Yeah. And went, it's like sure, why not? Yeah. Damn. So good. And there so there went a good. tank, and I was like, yeah, and there that's how thirty points just goes ahead and earns itself. Uh, yeah. Earns itself its money back because I just killed. A uh, hundred and some odd points in you know one model. Yeah. So yeah, that was a fun oh, day. You know that was super fun. Um, of course, I haven't had been able to replicate that luck. Yeah. Actually, I measured wrong for the Chimera. I tried to. I still have all the old values stuck in my head. Um, so um, I'm actually going to move the Chimera up another six inches, um, really quickly, just because um, I only moved it up that big. Oh, I'm not going to move it full because I just wanted to hide. Okay. Cool. Friendly game. We're we're going to allow stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, first things first, the Baneblade Cannon. So this is heavy 3d6. Um, 12. Cool. Um, actually not a bad three, roll. Not at all. 3, 3, 3, Nine. yep. Three, cool. So. I got my, I will show these off. I got these awesome um, yeah, I'll, I'll Space Wolfy dice. Cool. Thank you, sir. Yeah, these are super space wolfy, I thought. Um, good call. We're gonna roll these in our little dice box. Cool. Show them off a little first. John's very got this really beautiful uh, cologne box that he uses as a dice box. I love it. Yeah. I actually usually hate dice boxes, but this is this is nice. Well, because this is actual this is nice. Oh yeah, and actual leather. All right. So we're gonna be re-rolling this because he moved the dice box around. Oh yeah. No, no, that wasn't a roll. I was just showing him off. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no worries. I just want to make sure we got a shot of it. Um, I actually kind of hate dice boxes, um, so I might not use this very, very often. I already switched the camera. Thank you, though. Oh, if you want to show it. Yeah, this is to, yeah. Show, to show the, cool. the roll as, as it comes out. Sure. 
Um, so my BS is is four up um, at the moment. You know, these things, they do degrade. Um, so what do we got? We actually got a pretty darn good roll. So that's four no's. Uh, five. Yeah. Four. yeah. Um, cool. So and my strength is eight. What's your toughness? So my toughness is four. So nice. well, what are you shooting at? Oh, sorry. The warriors. I apologize. Yeah. So toughness four. Yep. So you're, these are going to be wounding on twos. And there's a one. Two ones. Two ones. Three ones. Yeah, these dice are beautiful, but they're hard to read. Um, so those three ones. Um, and um, uh, what's the damage on this guy is uh, d6. Um, I'm what's sorry, no, three. No, that's the demolisher. Yeah, well, that's so. Um, so each one's three. So I just scored uh, four times three is 12. 12 wounds at AP negative three. Well, it's actually you, uh, it's four wounds, and the damage per wound is three. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. So, but oh, oh, sorry. I I um the, I got the math right. I got the terms wrong. So, uh, because it's four wounds, I get to make four armor saves. Uh, mm -hmm. Which uh, is there any AP on it? Negative three. So minus three. Okay. So I don't get a save. Okay. For four. Gotcha. I have a four up armor save. Minus three is gonna be seven. So yeah, I get three models right up and taken away. Mm -hmm. And sorry, four models taken away. Cool. And when does reanimation... I realize that those guys are gone, but when does reanimation um, come into play? Uh, reanimation takes place at uh, the start of my movement phase. Okay, cool. Is that the way it always was? I thought it was the end of the phase, it's end of the turn before. It, but, well, the, uh, in 5th edition, uh, in 5th edition it was at the end of, uh, at the, end of the, the phase. In 4th edition, or in 6th in, in edition, and 7th edition, they changed it to uh, at the end, I guess, the end of the turn. Um, so no, in, in uh, sixth edition it was at the end of the turn. At seventh edition, uh, it was uh, it turned into a feel no pain roll. Oh God, I hated that. And you were complaining about the stuff that got nerfed in your codex, and I was just like, John, it had to. You have feel no pain across your army. He was he he likes to talk about the stuff that gets nerfed in this edition. Everything like his bread and butter, his warriors, um, has an AP negative one weapon. Like everything's AP negative something in his army. Or it's got a bunch of shots for its Teslas. Oh, so good. Yeah, they, um, there are things to like about the army now, but I just, I used to like, I mean, again, the fact that I have an AP negative something on every weapon is, it's something to cheer for, I have to admit. Because even a um, Space Marine Bolt Round, which is a, you know, a jet propelled, yeah. uh, high explosive grenade that is firing at you that's supposed to detonate after impact, doesn't so even have one. It doesn't even have any AP, which makes absolutely no sense to me. But whatever. Yeah. GW says GW, but um, <laughs> gonna have another GW, but we won't get into that. Um, but yeah, the 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 fact of the matter is that um. These weapons used to be able to. I was, was hoping that you would have something kind of like the my little skittlings would have. Skittlings. Where, where you mean you, your scarabs, right? Yeah, my scarabs. I like that. Scarabs. I like that a lot. <laughs> where my little scarabs would be, where basically they have a cap as to how low you can roll. You know, if, if you would normally wound on a six up, and so you roll wound on a five up. Mm -hmm. I was kind of hoping for something like that for the rest of my army, but eh, oh well, I'll take what I can get. Made me look so fat. <laughs> look like Orson Welles. Anyway, um, Orson Welles. You. Or um, <laughs> he says standing next to the guy who weighs twice his. No, not at all. Um, but cool. Um, that was that was an excellent round of shooting. There's one weapon. Okay, that's um, one weapon out of twelve on that gun on that gun two, platform. Two, four, six, eight, a ten. <laughs> Off by two. Off by two. And you and should that was also joking. be in four feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, no, I can definitely, definitely get you. Okay. Um, oh, actually, wait. I forgot. Yo. Uh, forgot. They're within range of my, uh, God, of my crypt deck, so what I get a five-up invul against shooting attack. Uh, wait a minute. I have a lot of other guns to shoot with. Should we resolve that now or yeah, at the end? Quickly, cause it's okay. Cool. Yeah. You know what? No, because you would get it even if. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a five-up invul, so yeah, I gave yeah. one guy. So, not that it'll help over much, but still, it was. It's important to re remember. Yeah, these guys actually have an invul save from mm -hmm. shooting attack, specifically against shooting attack. In melee, I don't get it. Super derp. But I remember I took that for the specific reason because I knew I was going to be taking a lot of shots from a lot of different high-powered weapons, and I was going to need it. Smart. Is that an upgrade you had to get for the Cryptek, or is no, that it's, something... No, that's a static ability. 
God, that's good. What's yeah, it called? The, uh, it's called the Chronomancer. I think, or the oh. Chronomancy. I think is what it's called. Basically, you, they shift time a little bit. So nice. yeah, the, the Chronomatron is what it's called. So friendly, uh, friendly Dynasty war infantry units within three inches of this model have a five up invulnerable save against ranged weapons. That's awesome. So, and they also have Technomancer, which gives me a plus one bump to my reanimation roll, so I get them back up on a four plus. Nice. So they do two things for you. Cryptic are a must for any Necron army. Uh, so are Overlords, but for different reasons. And they have Overlords have your standard Resurrection Orb, and they also have a fun little rule called My Will Be Done, which gives one unit that they nominate plus one to their charge, advance, and the hit roll. Ah! Makes yeah, me so angry, I'm gonna shoot you. There is a reason why people complain about My Will Be Done Tesla. <laughs> and you're probably going to see it soon. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, not like I build too much good. against your Bane Blade. <laughs> Bane Blade! Cool. Speaking of which, um, yeah, man. Um, the Demolisher Cannon is now only a heavy D3. But let's see what that does to you. Uh, three. three. I'll take that. I'll take that all day long. Super cool. Oops. Um, yep, it's still four up. And two hits. Cool. And uh, it's going to be two up to wound. Two wounds. Cool. And my damage should be um, uh, D6. Super cool. Oh, um, it, I mean, these are one wound models, so it's not going to matter over much. Can I borrow those dice for a moment? Yeah. Go ahead and okay. roll my five I'm going to throw them in the fire. So roll my involve save. I save one guy, so I lose one model. Uh, cool. Here. I really like what G did. God, I wish I knew we could run cameras over Wi-Fi before. I bought a DSLR for for myself, um, and obviously to, to to use a lot for what the studio is doing. And uh, I was just like, okay, how are we gonna do HDMI switching? And we looked at all these different dongles. We found out they're actually really affordable. We actually had some already. Um, we just, you know, like it was just it was just another thing for us to um, uh, to focus on um, behind the scenes. Woo! Um. Hang on. I think this would be funny. Um, and uh, Ben, our producer, just threw up. Um, uh, just threw up a. Uh, uh, and now we have camera reception. Now we have camera reception. Um, just threw up his phone. He's just like, "All right, I've got my phone. That'll probably work." And I was just like, "What? What?" Because my DSLR has a um, has a Wi-Fi receiver built in it. The other thing that, cool. that I should that I should mention is that if I had known we were going to be doing this, and since I know we're going to be doing this next time, likely, I actually do have a portable battery pack that we could plug that into, so that we don't have to have this cord that we're tripping on at the moment. Yeah, no, it's okay. We have an ammo box. Only get down. Yes. Thank you for that, John. Next time we don't have to use the ammo box. <laughs> I know. Have oh, it no. all handheld. Yeah. Um, yes, indeed. Um, okay. Um, so you let's keep shooting your at monster you. Monster cannon. You fired your. Uh, yeah, your I'm going to fire my my uh, my three. Um, um, heavy stubbers? Yeah, no, not heavy stubbers. Heavy bolters. My twin heavy bolters. So That's one. Twin heavy bolters. That's is two. Six shots each. Um, sorry, that's two. And then, God, I love this tank. Um, yes, yes, he loves that tank. I love that tank. Because it just produces a volume of fire that I can't do really a whole lot about. Yeah. I actually got kind of bummed when I was just like, you know what, this thing's actually not that special. It's just the biggest gunboat in my army of gunboats, and nope, I love it. I love it. Excuse Quite me, I gotta check some game quick. right now, since it's so infantry heavy, having a big gunboat is a really good thing. Yeah, and this game is more infantry heavy. So, like, this thing is actually not as, as longevous as, as it used to be, um, but I'm actually even happier, you know? Like, I really, like, it, it actually did get worse in some ways, um, pretty substantially. Um... Because it just it just doesn't last, um, but it's really actually a lot better in close combat than I ever thought it would be, um, which is funny. And its its guns just got better for killing infantry. So, um, Jarek would disagree. <laughs> for those cool. of you who caught that joke, thank you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Keep holding for one second. Cool.
Cool. Cool. And then that's a heavy bulker, which is strength five. So strength three five. Three, to wound. three up to wound. Yeah, two, four, six, seven, and that's just damage one. But I just want to double check. He's not the stubber. Yep, damage one, negative one. Um, so minus one. So these are still gonna be five up, regardless of how I yeah. roll it. And I save two. <laughs> <laughs> so five more go down. Cool. That's going to be problematic, but oh well. <laughs> Dems had a quick crumbles. guys are wondering why I'm pulling them off in this really kind of haphazard order. Uh, it's because when I bring them back, I have to be in coherency of something that hasn't come back this turn. So I'm kind of trying to maximize that area. Plus, when I'm done, Interesting. I, can them, I can just put them back up front. Yeah, I did not know that that was the stipulation. That I'm actually very happy about. I was like, that's still really powerful. That's awesome. That's it. You know what? Never mind. Keep going. Um, okay, so let's um, make a baby. Um... Stubber. Okay, Actually, no. Auto cannon. Um, so, um, the auto cannon is um, heavy two, straight up. I'm in my old habit of I'll take that of using different colored dice um, when you had to do everything more or less simultaneously, um, or at least that's that was the rationale for the game. Um, so it's going to be three up to one because it's still strength seven. Um, so not that one, but this one. Okay, and um, your armor's... Uh, I'm at AP negative one. So five but it, up. Okay. And no. Cool. And it does two damage. So. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Nothing makes a difference. Cool. Um, let's shoot that stubber after all. Cool. Shaking feet. <laughs> Done. Um, and this is gonna, just going to be four up to wound. Um, got one. And that's AP nothing. So this will be four. Yeah. Which does not help. Okay. Ooh. I gotta not use my black dice. I look too much like your semi-black dice. You're translucent. Alright, well that was the Bane Blade. And I think no, that it was wasn't. Everything. Nope. 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 Oh, you still have the HK. Blaze missile. cannons. Oh. And last cannons. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Um... And these are This is why I hate playing awesome. against IG. They have just so many guns. Guns? I love guns. What can I say? I apologize for nothing. Okay. Ta -da. Then again, I should, I should comment that this is my basic warrior unit, and they're tanking all of these shots. Yeah. Um, so definitely two up to wound. Uh, definitely made it. Um, and it's negative three? Yeah. So five up in vault save. Five up in vault save. Which I failed. Cool. Super cool. I'll read you ready. Um, John, why don't you go ahead and take this, because I'm just going to be rolling more dice constantly. So that's that's one tank. It's my biggest tank, but that's one tank. Um, let's play with the Basilisk. Cool. In case you guys were wondering, he's knocked out all of 12 bottles so far off one. 12 bottles. Yeah. So 12 cool. down. Cool. So to go. I'm going to roll 2d6 for the number of hits here and then discard the lowest, and that's the Bane Blade special thing. So um, it's heavy, um, five. heavy 5. That's a bad defect in these dice that I didn't notice. I got a Scarface die here. Cool. Um, so yeah. 2... Four, five. This is straight up four up to hit. Cool, that's a good roll. Four to five. Um, and it's going to be two or better. Oh, I'm sorry. Same unit. My bad. Um, same um, um, two up roll because it's still strength nine. Um, all of them. Cool. So four. And it's AP negative three. So five up in ball save. And I make two. Cool. Already then. Um, and, and I don't have line six. of sight. And then there were six. I like it. And I don't have line of sight anymore for the heavy bolter there. Alright, but you do have that Lehman Rust 
uh, in the back there because you probably could just hit me. Yeah. Cool. And that's quite yeah. a bit. So. Oh, yeah. Cool. Do you want to go ahead and hold that? Hit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice. Let's start using the USC dice. Go, Trojans. Fight on. Actually, I bought those because they, they reminded me of corn colors. So those are my corny dice. I love it. I like your your bloody red and gold ones. Uh, also work for um, uh, cornate dice. The ones you already had. Yeah, but they're these are more blood for the blood god than yeah. I mean, for those of you who know, that's, that's more blood for the blood god than oh, the other, no. other ones. I think. Just short. No, okay. It's okay. Cool. Um. Oh, you're short. Yay. Uh, that's one last thing I have to worry about. <laughs> Cool. So D6 for this guy, for the number of hits. So four. 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 <laughs> uh, four. Straight up, four up to hit. Um, oh, oh man. Oh man. First bad roll all game, and um, yeah, two or better because it's strength eight. First one. Yeah. Roll it and a two. Yeah. So, no, there were five. He killed fifteen yeah. models off of one unit. Sounds good to me, man. Um, I think that's all I'm going to be able to do to that unit, unfortunately. I was not planning on this thing doing that well at that. That's encouraging. Um, okay. Um, not that I'm done shooting at you. Yeah, no, he's not done. <laughs> that was just a three tank <laughs> out of his yeah. seven. Yeah. So. You uh, know what, John? Actually, eight. I forgot yeah. to close the camera. Huh. Well, technically, it's a half track. Not a well, it's a tank. Camera is a tank. It's an APC, but it's a tank. Um, barely I think I actually forgot to take that half inch off, so I don't think I'm going to hold against... I'm not going to be able to use grinding advance against you. Uh, I'm, I don't, didn't know, so just use it anyway. You sure? Yeah. All right. I'm Friendly game. Thank you, John. And it's also... Um, I really This is mostly for playtesting play anyway. We're, yeah, we're exactly. We're new still. I mean, well, we're not, new really to, we're not new to 40K, but we're new to 8th edition still. Yeah, 8th edition know? has just come out, and we're still getting used yeah. to the new rules. The and, you know, I spend a lot of time teaching people this game. I don't spend a lot of time playing, so that's why I make the mistakes that I do, and that's one thing we're here to do with this channel. Mm -hmm. Sorry for interrupting you there. No worries. But, yeah, 8th edition is new for both of us, so we're still kind of learning a lot of the things we're trying to forget, really, is what it, what exactly. it is, comes down to. It's not that we're trying to learn anything new. It's that we're trying to forget all the old rules that we have sort of come to remember exactly. so the game has become a lot more uh, streamlined uh, so because of that uh, a lot of things like difficult terrain like measuring line of sight orientation of, the of everything else and uh, things like facings of your vehicle and all of that no longer matters really so yeah it's hard to untrain yourself after doing things one way for a long time oh yeah and that is a oh yeah because you're playing fire in the gallery. yeah yeah. Are you gonna roll all forty shots at once? I want to put all the dice down because it's gonna be fun to look at. And be a really good shot. Oh yeah. One two three four five. One two three four five. Um, so that's twenty. Uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. That's forty. Cool. Right. Actually, can I roll them all at once? I think I could. I'm gonna roll them all at once. Perfect. Assuming he can get them all in his hand. Push with okay. this many oh. dice. Nope. Ha ha ha! Alrighty then. Cool. This is when IG become orcs. Nice. Cool, so that's still the standard straight four up. So I see three here. That are no good. Two more. Not these three. Not those two. Statistically speaking, he should get 20 hit. We'll see how many he actually gets. Mm hmm. Ah, thank you. Am I missing any? Uh, it looks like he got them all. And they're all four plus. Cool. Um, and I believe that they kept the strength at five. Yeah, yeah. So 16. Oh, sorry, so sorry, 21. So yeah. Woo! Just statistically about average within one standard deviation. 
Woo. And you said the strength was what? Five. So, okay, so these are going to be three plus two uh, wound. Cool. Oh, I'm um, at the scarabs. Oh, at the scarab. Yeah. Uh, just a moment. No worries. Scarabs are, yeah, that was three. So. Three of the wound. Yeah, three of the wound. Nice. Heck yeah, I'm happy about that. Cool, and this thing is um, AP nothing. Um, so yeah, go for it. And how many damage are you going Just one. Alright, so. I have to roll all these dice and look for however many sixes, and that's however many wounds I have void. Now, rolling this many dice and getting all sixes is statistically really, really low. So I'm going to lose quite a few days. I see two, three, three, four. I see four, which means I take this one base, two base, three base, and a wound on a third, on a fourth. Cool. And you were shooting at these guys out in the open, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. So these guys have two wounds left. like popcorn but uh, Love it. they hit like a Mack truck. <sighs> they really well, do. Well actually they, they, they hit like a wood chipper really. Yeah I was gonna say a Mack truck with a with a bunch of oh I'm still rolling dice to kill that unit so if you wanna oh you, that's a good angle never mind sorry. You look like you're just holding it out for me. I was like oh no thank you dude but you don't have to do that. Ah uh, uh, god dice are so uncooperative. No they're not I'm doing very well I'm very happy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shoot you with my laser cannon now to get that out. No, I'm not. I wanna save. I just wanna... I just wanna hit you with my plasma cannons. Um, and I'm gonna supercharge the crap out of these guys. Um, because I, um, have emergency plasma events. Um, if, uh, this model... And this is standard now for every Lehman Russ variant. I'm very excited to say. Um, John, were you aware of this? Were you aware of this? Why? No, I was not aware. I was just like, why is he making such a big deal about grinding advance? I no longer have to worry about supercharging my plasma. But yeah, all of my all of my tanks, uh, I'm sorry, all of my Lehman Rust tanks have emergency plasma events. If this model fires a supercharged plasma cannon and you roll one or more hit rolls of one, it is not automatically destroyed. Instead, for each roll hit for each hit roll of one, the bear suffers one mortal wound after all this weapon shots have been resolved. I mean, well, that's kind of... I mean, that's not nearly as good as I thought it was. I thought it was something like you fit just to re-roll them so that you don't overheat. No. Well, normally when you supercharge a plasma cannon, and this is true for all plasma cannons in the game, um, if you uh, roll a hit on any hit roll of one, you're just slain outright. Fair enough. So, like, that's pretty cool. Um, you know what? What's the toughness of those guys? The, the scarabs? You know what? I'm actually... I'm actually not. I'm gonna be like it's fun to be excessive and all that. Yeah. Rub it in, but no, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna supercharge him. Um. So I'm gonna just use the standard. Um. And heavy D3 for both of them. Um. So yeah, I got a three and a two there. Um. Or I mean, for a six and a four, that comes out to three and two. Um. So yeah. Um. So three and two is five. Yeah. We're up to hit and I three of the five. All right. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, cool. And then, uh, it's gonna be three up. Uh, seven to four? No, seven to three. That's two. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, two up. Uh, my bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, two, um, uh, are... Yeah, I scored two wounds, um, at AP... What's it? Negative three. Yeah, so they're not gonna need a save. And how many... No. How much damage for... One. So, one damage per wound? Correct. So I lose that base there. Cool. Only saving grace is how many... These things are swarms, so they're hard to, you know, they have a lot of wounds for each. But mm -hmm. still. Oh, yeah. Cool. Alrighty, uh, laser cannon. Alright. Um, so that's gonna be, um, heavy one. Yeah, yeah, still heavy one, definitely. Cool. So four up to hit. Got it. Uh, two up two to wound. Wounds. Got it. Um, and that's, uh, AP negative three. Alright, and 
What's the damage? Oh, um, damage on a laser cannon is D6. And one. one. <laughs> First bad roll I've made all game. I don't know if you should be laughing that hard, like John. Second, la second bad roll, and I will, <laughs> and I will laugh a little bit just because it's a <laughs> las gun shooting at a swarm, which again. Just the image of that. You're firing a tank busting weapon and you just basically yep. clipped off a few off the edges. Yeah, no, I mean there is a hole there, but it's been filled already. Oh boy. Okay. Um that's it for that tank. Um and I don't think I can reach with my hellhounds um much as I want to. Um now that template weapons are just weapons that hit automatically. Double yeah. Attack. Oh yeah. No, I can't. It's uh sixteen inches. Oh, you um, yeah, no, you can't. No, I can't. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna hit you with the heavy bolter, though. Um. Yeah. No. Inferno Cannon 16. That's a shame. Heavy 2d6 automatically hits its target. Uh, that's super fun. But no, uh, you'll, you're within, uh, 36, though, for sure. Okay. Two hit. Nice. Um, oops. Three up to wound. Wounds. Yep, and it's AP negative one. So I just take the wounds. Yeah. And it's how much damage? How much damage? Just one. So that goes down to one left. Cool. Super cool. Alrighty. Um, I believe I can see. Yeah, I can totally see. Um, I can totally see. Um, actually, both of those bases that are left with this guy. Um, yeah. Are you still 72 inches, Mr. Battle Cannon? Mr. Battle Cannon is still 72 inches long. Okay, so, um, heavy D6 shots, two, that's annoying. Um, um, and I'm firing with that guy in the back. And it's two or better, got them both. Okay, and that's AP, um, well, you had to roll the negative three, I just did. You, that was it, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, sorry, I was thinking very quickly. Nah, that's a wound. Nah, that's a wound. I actually rolled five and six twice. Okay, so it's AP, um, yeah, negative, uh, two, not negative three. And the wounds, or the damage per hit? D3. So... Three and three. Three and three. I they're love these dice. Yeah. And they're gone. Cool. So out of all that shooting, he's officially managed to destroy all of... No. Six power. You know, four oh. power. Oh, I'm 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 happy because uh, until that is off the table, that still doesn't count. Uh, however, that does give you first blood officially. Yeah. Is what's called still a thing? Is um, you know what's it called? Don't you know? Well, that's, uh, you oh, sorry, the who's it? What's it? Yeah, no. Yeah, well, who's it? What's it? Yeah. What's it called? The <laughs> And a whole bunch of other things which yeah. uh, <laughs> are very highly contextual dependent. Oh so. yeah, it's like squanching. It's all ba it's a, it's more contextual than literal. Um, the um, Gauss flare rule. That's still a thing. No. Interesting. Because again, what, what, one of the things I've been complaining about is like, yeah, yeah. we don't really have the flare rule anymore. So it's like, eh, we don't auto glance on a six now. It's. But then again. Nowadays, a las gun auto glance on the six. <laughs> yeah. So I suppose fair is fair. Indeed, he do. Our time has come for our own Imperium. Um, but in Tropic Strike, still a thing, so that's what I'm going to shoot at. Um, D6. Oh, God. Okay, I'll take it. Um, four up to hit. Okay. Yes. And then two are better to wound. Oh, it's this battle cannon going into those scarabs. Um, two better to wound. Oh, yeah. Any wounds. And cool. the damage is... D3. So there's one base. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, which uh, one do you want to take off, sir? Yeah, that, take off that one, yeah. Actually, you know what? The, yeah. You sure? Uh, Friendly game, if you want to switch it yeah, out. Yeah, take the one behind it, actually. You got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the heavy bolter, I'm guessing. Oh my, yes. Actually, do I have range for that? Oh, f yeah, no. Yeah, range. Yeah. Nice.
Three, uh, four up to hit. Whoa. Three up to wound. Dun, dun, dun. Um, oh yeah, I have uh, only rolled the one. I don't know why I did that. Four up to hit. Three up to wound. Okay. AP negative one. And one damage, right? Uh, yes. So one damage. Cool. On that one base uh, that you ruined initially. They go down to three. In like six and seven, they had four attacks and three wounds, or was it the other way around? No, it was always that. It was always yeah, four attacks. And three wounds. Cool. Way cool. All right then. Um, blaze cannon. Four up to hit. Nope. Um. My God. I think that's it. Yep. All right. Or did I shoot the blaze cannon? No. The no, I just did. Cannon, yeah, did. yeah, I just did. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. So cool. Uh, that's end of Imperium turn. Turn one. Sweet. I think now, I'm gonna set this up. At the end of the turn, I'm supposed to roll for morale. However, I do have six command points that I'm going to go ahead and use. Uh, two of those command points to just go ahead and say I pass my morale. You can do that. Yeah. Uh, one of the strategies, cool. one of the basic strategies. Cool, cool, uh, cool. Insane, uh, oh, insane heroism. Insane heroism, I believe it's called. Yeah. Uh, which is just, uh, you don't, uh, you just automatically pass your... That up. I'm gonna step Here off it camera for once. Yo! Insane rave bravery. Two there we go. Points. Cool. I'm gonna have my signal morale test. Nice. I can use one. Once again. Once, well, once per turn, really. Um, stratagems are not so. Uh, once per turn, they're once per turn. favor and hold the camera, John. I need to check something real quick okay. off camera. I'm only mostly sure that camera's sending out signal. So the question now is that I have the opportunity to use uh, my resurrection or to roll once again Crap. for my uh, reanimation. John, go ahead and hit the record button, please. It got tapped at some point. Yeah, the white dot. Okay. It should be red now. Alright, so, yeah. So yeah, I have the opportunity to go ahead and roll for reanimation again if I decide to use my one use only resurrection orb. Uh, the question is, do I want to do it for a 50-50 chance to get three, maybe four models back? Mm. And at this point in the game, I think it actually might be worth doing just that because he's going to give me a real shellacking again next turn. And any advantage I can give myself early on is something that's worth taking. So I'm going to go ahead and take these nine, and I'm going to actually pop my resurrection orb and roll again. Cool. Which was a bad idea because I didn't get a single one. Hmm. Seriously? Yeah. Not What'd you have one. to roll? Five? No, I had to roll four plus, and I rolled uh, four, wow, that's four threes awesome. and, a, and two ones. Dope. Which for I am Mr. Happy. IG over here is good news, but Imperial Guard. 
Oh well. It was not Astro Militarum. So I'm going to get nine models back. God. They're Do good. the scarabs don't get no random? Oh thank God. You had a formation. He had a formation in seventh edition that could do that. Pissed yeah. me off. They they had a that was a very specific um, thing where you could choose to make them get back up on. Uh, or you can give uh, Canaptic Scarab a uh, reanimation roll, mm -hmm. but not this edition. guys get back. Uh, and by the way, models that get up from reanimation come back with their full complement of wounds. So something like those destroyers over there, which have multiple wounds, get up with all their wounds. That's new. Yeah, they were before, before reanimation was just one wound. Now it's get all of them back. Why were you complaining about anything from your codex, dude? Uh, so good. Uh, again, that's the one thing I wasn't complaining about. The only thing True. I was complaining about was the gas. Really. There are no vehicles that have reanimation, are there? No. Okay. They have living metal, though. What does that do in this edition? Living metal is every turn you get a wound back. Cool. So, regardless, it, without having to roll, no, no ifs, ands, or buts, you just get a wound. Cool. You get a wound back. Which, granted, doesn't really help over much in the long stretch of things, considering that, uh, I mean, for the inter infantry models, the special characters that have it, yeah, yeah that's kind mm -hmm. of nice. It's a good thing to have, but not really for anything else. Alrighty then, so. Cool. I'm going to do this. Alright, so for my turn, first we'll start with the movement phase, which started already with the reanimation yeah. rolls. Cool. These guys, I'm going to leave in a pile over here because until the units are removed, they actually still still have a chance to get back. Really? Yeah. That's new too! I mentioned that at the start of the game. Oh, I was very busy. I missed that. Okay. But yeah. My God, that's cool. That's way more interesting. Yeah. Behind the scenes. <laughs> All right. So I am going to go ahead and advance my scarab. Yeah. And I get six, so I get to move sixteen inches with my scarabs. So I'm going to get. I didn't realize. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm kind of blocking you guys, so. No worries. Multiple camera setups are for. Yeah, but I'm supposed to be doing this in such a way that you guys can actually see what the action that's going on. So I'm going to get these guys behind some cover. Don't do that. No, oh, rude. Well. Because quite frankly, uh, they're gonna need it. Um, next turn, next guy's coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm have my destroyers go over here. Man, I hope that doesn't fall. Alrighty. I'm gonna make some off-camera treats for us. I'll be right back. Actually, they really don't have to move. They have. They should have about range. Yeah, they just have to forward a little bit and then just angle themselves so they're not in anyone else's line of sight. Little bit. That tank that can't see me. 
I don't think he can shoot. I don't think he presents enough of a target for him to actually shoot me with that. Okay. You can stay right about where you are. That metal thing comes through. Trying to move this quickly, guys, because I might make up for some lost time that we had earlier. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to move you there. I'm going to move you. What do you think, folks? Should I go straight for the Bane Blade, or should I go for a smaller tank? I kind of want to go for a smaller tank, but the, the Scarabs and the Destroyer should handle that. So I'm just going to head this big blob of infantry head towards that big old Bane Blade, Blade and see what kind of damage they can do. Not a lot, I'm guessing. I'll catch the next one. Um, yeah, for for later, so that we can. Walk right behind them. These models are going to do similar lockstep maneuver. This is one of the reasons why I like moving guys in formation because you guys you can very easily move everything in one go. Not yeah. having to measure every single time. So I measure once and then move everything else because it's just that easy. second or two. Yeah, there so I apologize to you who are watching and are kind of bored of watching <laughs> me move a bunch of models, but no. that's pretty much most of the game right there. Yeah, no one would tune into this if it were if they didn't want to watch a couple grown men play with their dolls. No, if they didn't want to watch, you know, like the, you the seen, grin. Did you see anything? <laughs> to watch the, the granular flow of this game watching one model, moving one model. Huh? Stratagem that would give them uh, their full DS on Overwatch or something like that. God. Yeah, 
It would be. That was the Dark Angels thing for a while. That was like the one thing they did to make the Dark Angels interesting. Um, I asked about, you know, do you have anything in your army that gets the whole, the old school, you actually get plus one attack for charging. That turned out to be what the, um, the one thing that the, um, they did to make the Blood Angels more interesting. Which I thought was really powerful, but kind of sad. Just like, oh, not a lot of interest for this army. I guess we'll just give them this really good army-wide thing where if you have the Blood Angels keyword, you get plus one attack for charge, you know? Uh, fortunately, your Bane Blade is just out of range for most of my stuff. Awesome. He says, with a sardonic grin. Uh, <laughs> awesome. I've already moved everything. I didn't announce that I was going to advance. So that means I'm kind of SOL there. So, uh, oh well. Not much you can do about it. But I will take pot with whatever I can. Shoot. Super cool. Shooting heavy with. Right. These dice have been so good to me, and they are yours. I encourage you to use them. Well, I will try my luck with these first. Okay, cool. Because they weren't, aside from the reanimation rules, they weren't that bad. Okay. Moving right along. So starting with the stalkers who are going to be shooting first. Cool. So I'll start with this stalker, and he is armed with a heavy Gauss cannon, which mm -hmm. is a uh, well, heavy twin Gauss cannon. Mm -hmm. So it is a range 36. Cool. I'm not even going to bother measuring that because I know you're in range. I Shooting the at the, range. yeah, oh yeah. And so three plus, two hits. Cool. That's box star, so definitely. Box star. And then this is a, uh, what's the toughness of your main blade? Oh god, it's uh, nine. Um, okay, so these are going to be four ups. I believe. Eight. Strength nine, toughness eight. Okay, so toughness eight. So this is a strength nine weapon. Oops. Cool. You're actually so rolling a three up. Yeah, so I'm actually wounding on a three up. So both of them. And then it's a minus mm. four AP. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm certainly save. Yeah. Uh, I'm save three up, and you said minus four? Yeah. Wow, oh, I just took them. So so I'm down from 26 to 22. Now hang on. Yep. This is a D6, this does D6 damage per hit. Yeah, okay. That, that's good. 11. Okay, I'm down from 26. 15. So 15. So you... I'm right. still in my upper, my upper tier. Yeah. Um, I do love how they did that. Uh, if you're heavy enough, you start to degrade. Um, or rather, um, some vehicles. Really, it's 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 interesting how they balance that. Some really heavy stuff doesn't degrade, which I thought was very interesting. Like like um, uh, dreadnoughts aren't very heavy, but I mean like that's a feature that's going for them is that they don't degrade. So I still have my full stats for your information, but that sucks. This is what I meant by they're not as longevous anymore. Yeah, well, uh, to be fair, I got incredibly lucky, and you also you had you no did. idea what I was shooting at you. True. Definitely true. I thought about that. I was like, all right, John, what's the most what's the most dangerous thing out here? But you're being so nice to me all game. I held back. And I wish I hadn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, now that it's a big old target standing up in the middle of everywhere, that's not going to last for very long. He's going to do a lot before he goes. I'm I'm convinced. Anyways, so he, uh, so he shot. That's his one weapon. But now his targeting really kicks in. So... Mm. Whenever you know, he attacks, friendly models that shoot at it get a plus or get a get to reroll their ones to hit. Why you gotta do me like that? Well, again, you're only gonna get about a half dozen shots because most of my stuff is not in range. However, the stuff that is in range, I will count out. Focus. Yeah, I'm bringing my camera next time. God, I'm glad we can do this over Wi-Fi. Then we have. Oh yeah, fourteen because it was minus six. Ah, cool. man, yeah, I'm just gonna focus. <laughs> just gonna focus the guy real quick. Cool. Oh, did you see my ring by the way? Hmm? It's a D twenty ring. Huh. Oh, it's old, uh. oh, there are a couple arrows um, uh, etched into. Uh, it's one ring rotating around another, and there are two arrows um, on it. And so you just flick it with your thumb, and whatever the arrows are pointing to is what uh, what you rolled. Fair enough. Yeah, I love it. That's handy. Yeah, hello. literally and figuratively. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to activate my will be done on this group. With these, what does that do again? So they're going to have. Uh, well, they could have declared this earlier, but really, it's, uh, it's I'm going to give them a plus one to their hit. So they're going to not to wound, 
but it gives them a plus one to their advance, charge, mm -hmm. and to hit. And because I didn't measure properly, I could have done that earlier, but that's fine. Friendly aim, so we're going to allow that one. Yeah, yeah, totally. So these guys normally hit on the three plus, but because of my will be done, I get to hit on twos. And because of the targeting, really, I get to re-roll these three. So I add one more back in. So I have 14, I got 12 hit. And then the rest of these, because it's toughness Oops. eight. So your left foot. Yep. So because it's toughness eight, these are going to be, um, these are going to be sixes only. Which isn't really all that new for Necron players. We always used to win on a six up. But yeah. yeah. Wow, I got four. At minus one. So get four, four up save. Okay. Four's a six. Okay. Faux faux ups. Faux faux show. So 50 50 that he passes all of any of these. Which means there's another two wounds off. Statistically speaking. And yeah, uh, so passes to yep right there well them's the odds so now i'm down to 13 i should have written that down earlier i will do that right now okay i'm gonna head prop the camera up in your hand thank you for that um that looks like note paper okay. yeah note cards around here somewhere or we could just use dice yeah all right so that's down to 13 and now i'm going to shoot it with the other squad of guys not all of them will have range, but at least some of them will. Mm -hmm. uh, and because I don't have my will be done, they're not going to be able no. to hit quite as well. But mm -hmm. So that first bunch in there is going to have range. So let's say 10 of them. Do you agree? Say again? Uh, 10, I think. Or show again? You're measuring to what? Two foot? Yeah, the, the 24 foot. Yeah, two, four, six. Uh, with the gray or silver unit? The gray one. Okay, gotcha. Um, three, three, nine. Yeah, definitely. How much? How many I total? Think actually, more yeah, than that. More I think like that, 12, yeah. 12, 13. 12, 13. It's a friendly game. You've been nice to me. 13 can hit me. Yeah, 12, 13. Yeah. 13 hit, for sure. So it's one, one die less over here. So, these are going to be three three up, three rolling mm -hmm. ones. That does not... No. Well, everything Hell else yeah. hits, though. So, not a bad roll at all. And no. now, six is only. And two. Actually, roll these on the table just so I don't have trouble telling them apart. Uh, nope, neither. Neither. So you God, down to 11. 11 wounds. Lonely one sided die. You can actually keep track of that with dice now. Indeed. We always could before, I just, you know. So you have 11 wounds left in that. Have you gone well, down a rank yet? Oh, yeah, no, that happened at wound 14. So last turn. Sorry, I thought I mentioned that. So I'm moving seven inches, and I'm uh, ballistic skill five, and I only have six attacks. I'm not going to be charging with this guy, though. Yeah. I don't know. Try to. AP minus two and D3 um, damage. Um, not bad. Oh, uh, yeah. My staff's of light cannot hit you, which is unfortunate, but nice. oh well. Is that what used to be a template weapon? No. Uh, this. That You're thinking of the uh, Gauntlet of Fire. Right, right. But yeah, uh, no, we, the Staff of Light is basically now the Necron gener general purpose weapon for HQ choices. So the, uh, the weapon that they're using is um, the Staff of Light, which is range 12, but it's strength 5 and AP minus 2. Hmm. And it's also assault 3. So get close enough, they're actually pretty good. And also in, in melee combat, they're also an AP minus 2. So they're pretty nice. good weapons all around. They nice. Just, they have relatively limited range, which was always the case. That was never. That's not anything new. The only difference is that the upgrades cost. Good. And 
and also attacking on arrows are not as ubiquitous as they used to be. Would have been nice to roll attack on arrow against him, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Uh, I know for a fact that the immortals in back do not have range at all, so I'm not going to be bothering rolling for them. Uh, beyond that, uh, so that was this group over here. Now I have this group over here. So I'm gonna, I'll be starting with uh, the stalker on this end, and he's going to be shooting at the Punisher. Dang it. Actually, before you do that real quick, I'm just going to check in with our producers, let them know that we're going to be running along. I want to finish this game. John, how do you feel? All right. That's yeah? Nice. Okay, cool. I don't know what time you have like to be home and stuff like that, but uh, I would love to finish this game. That's all I want to do right well, now. Well, we're adults. We don't exactly have a bedtime. I'm not married, so... Yeah, yeah. exactly. I don't have to well, we're married to anything. Warhammer. That's well, we're true. We're married to Warhammer, but we're always... Everybody's married to Warhammer. Everybody's married they to just Warhammer. Don't know it yet. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to check with our producers, let them know we're going along. I'll be right back. All right. So we're all we're all on the while well, we're on the subject of Warhammer and it's just me standing here because I want you guys to actually not sitting there doing nothing. Uh, we have heard some uh, gotten confirmed that we are going to be getting uh, the uh, the Eldar Craft World uh, as our next codex. Uh, and the one after that, I believe, is going to be either uh, Inari or um, uh, Possibly uh, the Dukari, which is uh, the Dark Eldars, and the uh, I think the uh, the Inari is also the um, actually they might include the, the Dark Eldar and the uh, and the other Eldar Codex. So we might the odds are good we're going to get the Eldar Codex next. After that, the possibility is just we might get the Necron Codex, although it's not confirmed yet. Uh, but leaks are happening all the time, so we probably will know sooner rather than later. Uh, as to what exactly is coming up next, it's likely we're going to be getting a couple of Xenos factions before the end of the year. So that is uh, that is the news. Uh, now Stephen is going to be coming back on stage as soon as he can finish getting his mic uh, adjusted. So uh, cool, we're good. To, we're good to go for as long as we want. All right, cool. So I want to go ahead and roll for um, roll for my Triarch Stalker and the cool. other guy over there. Who's right over there in the corner, the spider-looking guy? Spider-looking sh man. Shooting at the Punisher, and he hits twice. Dang it! And what's the toughness of that Punisher? Uh, should be eight, but I'm gonna double check. Yeah. I think all my my main battle tanks are eight. Yeah, I'm tough as eight. All Same right, as so a Bane Blade. Yep. All right, so these are going to be once again three plus because it's a strength nine weapon. Mm -hmm. Two wounds. Again, AP minus four, so I don't think you get a save. <sighs> no. And D6 wounds each. And the Wait, hold on. Which which Lemur is he shooting at? This guy. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. I was just like, wait a minute, what about cover? No, not even. Yeah, no, you're out in the open, Sam. And that's 10 wounds. <sighs> 10 wounds gone? Dang it, dude. Yeah, I rolled. I rolled. You two, rolled. Wow. I rolled pretty damn good with these dice. I'm, I'm quite oh, happy. Son. He's got two wounds left. Yep. a good unit yeah that's one stalker that's one stock that that's it's a, it's an alternative weapon to be fair their their primary weapon is the heat ray which is uh, a melt a weapon a melt a weapon but it's range 24 so for me to get the melt effect I have to get a lot closer mm -hmm. and the only real advantage of it is that you could also use it as an anti anti infantry gun mm -hmm. but the heavy the uh, the twin heavy gauss is a lot better because you have an extra 12 inches of range, mm -hmm. and it's AP minus four, which mm -hmm. is hard to argue with. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to fire, I suppose, with um, with the guys I actually positioned for this particular <laughs> reason. So I'm going to have to have my four uh, destroyers over here who are armed with uh, the lighter versions of the same gun, which are mm -hmm. the Gauss cannons. They're um, heavy two. But uh, these guys have a special rule that allows them to sh move and shoot heavy weapons with no penalty. What rule is that? The move, move, that rule is called... Um, what used to be relentless? Well, it used to be relentless, but in this case, this is a specific model rule. Sure, sure, sure. So it's the Gravitic platform, I believe it's called. Nice. It's uh, a terrible way to hold a camera. Repulsor platform is what it's called. Cool. But yeah, because they're... 
their lower half of their bodies are literally mm -hmm. basically grav vehicles. Mm -hmm. The uh, they float and move perfectly, and uh, combine that with their heavy weapons. And the fact of the matter is that these things literally design themselves from the ground up. They butcher themselves to be better killing tool. Nice. So they, uh, yeah, mm. there. No, you go. no, 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 no. Once again, rerolling ones for. Is a one you get to reroll? Yeah. Two that does not get to get rerolled, but okay. the one here does because. Um, so they hit on three is rerolling ones for not only the Prowler Stalker, but for their own decimated protocols. Still missed. And then these are strength five versus toughness eight, so these are going to be fives to one. No. And not a single one. So. <laughs> That tank survives for a day <laughs> until I get to nibble in the death of my next turn. But huh. yeah. Cool. So they shot, they missed, and oh well. But my two stalkers have more than made up their points cost alone. Mm -hmm. So I can pr pretty much kiss them goodbye next turn. Nice. Because he is not going to let them stay, and they don't have anything <laughs> around them. Never! So, yeah. So that was everything I could shoot with. And, uh, and get into range of width. That was one thing I knew going into this game is that I was going to be fighting a range battle because all of his guns could literally outrange me. And if he really wants to play that, all he has to do is back up and then just leave, let me chase him down the battlefield. It's not fun. I mean, I totally could do that, but it's not that satisfying. I, I wouldn't. I would not hold it against you if you did that. Yeah. I, I really wouldn't because. Uh, Range is your friend. As soon as I get close to yeah. you, you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Considering that your your one Punisher is uh, down to two wounds, yeah. and your your big battle tank is down to eleven, 11 wounds out yeah. of twenty some odd. He'll he'll last another turn. Yeah, he'll last another but turn. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably take out that unit of warriors. God, I hope so. And unless you decide to take out my stalkers instead. Kind of want to do that too. Um, warriors certainly haven't done anything this game except get shot. But I do. Well, they took, four, they took a couple of wounds off your bane blade. Not many, but they did yeah. take, take yeah. four wounds off your bane blade. Definitely negligible compared to what the um, uh, stalker is stalkers doing, yeah. Yeah, and they, don't, they also deny you a save, too. The stalkers deny you a save. Oh, great, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I was, oh God. What I was thinking, why I paused, I was thinking to myself, you know what, that's all going to change when they get in a range. And I was just, it, for some reason, I thought that's an effect that they had. It's just like, oh God, they deny a save? No, they have an aura no. effect that denies a save? No, no. They're, they're not that OP yet. I'm, nice. I'm saying yes because I don't know what my codex is going to bring. <laughs> Hopefully the silent team. Hopefully what? Hopefully the silent team. Or the void dragon. Let's go for broke. No. Uh, we're, we're never getting the Void no, Dragon. Not at all. Is, getting is the Void Dragon would, in, would entail us actually making a full assault on Terra itself. Yeah. Which is not going to happen because no. one, Battlefleet Solar, and two, yeah, uh, yeah w that would require a level of unity that just doesn't exist. Doesn't, that's a great point. I was going to say, you know what, whatever number two is, doesn't matter because we're reason number one. But um, that's a great point. They don't have the unity to just not like that. Yeah, Imhotek is basically very happy holding the worlds that he has, and uh, that doesn't really entail expanding over much. He wants to have the stuff that he's got under his control, so he's not going to be expanding anytime soon. Uh, the only person who might be able to pull something off is Anrak here, and he just doesn't have the forces. He just doesn't have them. So, and he definitely doesn't have the ship to get past Battle Battlefleet Solar. Uh, especially with Gilliman at the helm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Much as I hate the Papa Smurf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, I hate him not because he's bad or anything. Just no. Just because he's not vanilla. He's he's the vanilla leader. He's he he leads Vanilla Squadron as opposed to Rouge Squadron. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting when the next Primark comes out on the Imperial side, which. Uh, at the moment, Rumor Mill is suggesting it Rogel might be Rogel Dorn. Dorn, which I would love. Yeah. The, the, they retconned uh, the, the lore a few years back. Uh, so before it was, they found his entire body in floating in space, and they screenshot his entire body of bones. Mm. And then I think two or three years back, I think even more, I think about four years back, uh, when 6th edition rolled in, uh, 
they um, they they changed the ruling, which or they changed the lore, which uh, now it's uh, he's it was just his hand that they found floating in space, and that's he was curb shot by all the Captain Men. And uh, because of that, it left the, the, basically left open the door for him to come back. And this is, the rumor mill at the moment is that he is coming back because uh, they leaked an image of uh, basically a, a pauldron that mm. shows uh, an Aquila that is very similar to the one that he wears. Um, cool. So the suggestion is that Rogaldorn might be next, but of course we we do know the, of the other primary source a lot of that might come back. We mm-hmm. still have the lion who's in the rock he might wake up sometimes soon but mm-hmm. the Lehman Russ might come back out from the warp probably more wolf than than man but the popularity most, most most definitely but yeah uh, that'd be kind of awesome if he just, he just comes back and he's a giant wolf that'd be awesome just, you see this giant 30 foot tall werewolf that rivals Magnus in size and basically is just Giant. Oh god, that would be cool. Basically an imperial version of a hero Oh god, I want that. Just oh. Has just in, just enough sanity left in him to basically be a few IQ points higher than a wrecking ball. Love it. <laughs> I just hope it's not. Like who who's the uh the Primarch for the Green Knights then? The Green Knights? Yeah, they, they don't, don't, have, they don't a have a Primarch. Yeah, no no no. That's it was right. it was suggested at some at one point that the Emperor was Yeah, the that's what I was gonna say. But it was recently confirmed <laughs> that no that is not the case gotcha wouldn't uh, it be cool if that's who came back I, I, it's not gonna happen and his name is also Parl yeah uh, it's also not uh, uh, Biggie coming back is not gonna happen Biggie uh. so we will never s- oh, we will see the em- only place you're gonna see the Emperor on the battlefield is in 30k yep only place you're gonna see him and you might see that in the next few months Maybe really. I, the, I mean, they're they're always saying that they're going to release the model. They always push him back to date as far gotcha. as I hear. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get plastic sisters probably before we see an emperor model. I keep being told that I have some funny art to send you by the way, and I'll throw it up on our Discord um uh, before too long. Um, I I've been told that they actually have plastic sisters already. They just haven't shipped them, and I mean like from years ago, like from when the demand originated. Just like okay, this is great. We like these metal sisters. Make them in plastic. We, and they've just been sitting there. We've been hearing the same thing for years now. So everyone everyone says plastic sisters, plastic sisters, and everyone keeps saying, oh, they're coming out soon. They're coming out soon. Yeah, they've been saying that for almost as long as I've been in the game. So I mean, we've had the metal models that all they've been selling on the GW website. Mm-hmm. And uh, if anyone from GW is watching, please, Plastic Sisters, we will buy them. We will buy them. Trust me, oh my people god. will buy them. Oh my god, yes. You will probably sell out from your pre-orders alone. Yep, <laughs> not an exaggeration. That's awesome. Cool. All right, John. Um, what's next? Uh, I shot everything. So Did you? I, okay, yeah, cool. I, I don't have. Uh, I, advanced my scarabs and because I had I oh god them, I honest. forgot about them wow I'm glad you mentioned that yeah but they're they're still not close enough to make the charge no so there's you sure oh yeah the charge range is 12 uh, you could do it I I highly highly doubt I would <laughs> want to give me the chance I, to fire overwatch with yeah, my punisher that was that the other thing was like yeah I'm not giving you the yeah. chance to fire overwatch at me with that Big F off laser gun. Yeah. Well, oh, actually, it's um, not a laser gun. Just it's a big old Gatling gun. Yeah. The <laughs> Are you sure? I'm I can't sure. I am not going to be charging you with my scarabs. <laughs> at, the moment they're, at the moment, they have more use to me as a bullet magnet. Indeed. Which is what they've been doing for a while. I'm going to check something real quick. I'll be right back. Do. Okay, cool. Alright, um, so it's my turn. Yeah, it is your turn. Sweet. Uh, I can safely say for this turn, dead. Maybe oh, maybe dead, but yeah. most likely alive. And so probably dead too. What are the what are the um destroyers armed with again? The destroyers are armed with Gauss cannons, which okay. are uh strength by or range 24, strength 5, AP minus 2, if I remember correctly. Where did that my book at? Thread printing. No, the other book. Oh, thread printing. Yep. So, yeah, gas cannon. 
Heavy 2, Strength 5, AP minus 3, D3 damage. AP minus 3. Yeah. So they hit pretty darn hard. AP minus 3. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, crap. And the Heavy Gauss Cannon is what the... Uh, right, um, yeah. That's range 36. Stalkers. Range 36, Heavy 2, Strength 9, AP minus 4, D6 damage. Damn. So, okay. big brother, little brother. Big brother, little brother. Yeah. Make it happen, Captain. All right. Well, it is your movement phase, so you get to do your movement things. How many wounds do... Oh, I know. Um, that's what I'm working at. How many wounds do the stalkers have? The uh, stalker has... Ten. Check that real quick. Oh, right. I got such tunnel vision about smite that I forgot to generate anything else, which is fine. Tuck him in, not for the sake of movement, but just so he's not on the edge. That's cool with you, right? Yeah. Yeah, friendly game. Cool. Um, it's also within his movement, right? Yeah. And um, I'm going to take your advice, John, and actually not advance him. Actually, hold on. Oh, yeah. That, sorry, 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 sorry. That's my way of winning. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's the Exodia method of winning, by the way. <laughs> Which, for those of you who did not grow up in the 90s to see the Yu-Gi-Oh cartoons, then shame on you for not knowing this reference. Shame on you. I still people see people play Yu-Gi-Oh. Crazy. Yeah, people still play the game. Uh, the thing is, the, the funny thing is, most people who play the game know that the TV show is absolutely nothing like it. They, they invent you their mean you don't rules. put a card inside of a giant thing and watch dragons come out? Oh, actually, no. The people actually do that because they have made that farm thing. That's You ridiculous. can actually go out and buy that. That's it's ridiculous. Actual thing. No one I've ever seen actually uses it because, one, the games are over way too quickly for the bottom of the setup. That's but funny. two, because it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I'm sure a lot of uh, 10 and 12 year olds probably buy those things. <laughs> and I'm sure more than a few adults do. Oh, always. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know an adult or two probably Would has, buy one. has bought one of them to break it apart and cast in metal and to make a metal version of that thing out of probably cast aluminum. That's awesome. I know at least one person who would do that. Dustin? Two. Huh? Dustin? Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's the second of the two, I'm imagining. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, well, he was the first of the two. Actually, that I, I would imagine doing that because if you put the idea in his head, he think about it. He start. He thought about casting a titan in metal. I know that. Yeah, he would. Yeah. He would definitely do that. And the other one is um, uh, actually Kevin. He might. He might do that. Uh, just because I, I figured with uh with his background and all that thing, he might do that just for the prop. Interesting. Kevin Ein. The yeah. My Kevin. Interesting. I thought he might. He strikes me as the type who would. Not necessarily he would, but he, he might. No, no, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, believe it or not, I'm not moving the basilisk. Yeah. Um, Shock. Yeah. Um, so, four and a I half. I don't think there's any, I've ever been in a game that I've played against where a basilisk has moved more than a... I've had to run away before. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that every game I've ever played against him where he's used the basilisk, it has never moved more than rotating on its axis a little bit. And that was kind of it. Basically, the tank, the, the guy in the, in the tank, and I'm just going. That's it. There we go. 
Sorry. Okay. There's that. <laughs> Do that. Oh. With this bunch is up, it's really easy to trip. Just give me that though. Um. Let's. Let's. <laughs> oh my god so awkward I'm going to gently lift this up and put it back just because it's easier yeah well I mean it's, it's collapsible for me it's really yeah, yeah. Just... oops a daisy Sorry. Wow, that was obnoxious. I do apologize. Um, two. We get to another. Another two. Three quarters. Grr, so annoying. I'm trying to be delicate with your tape measure, John. I can see him. You can see what? Here. I have to do this. <laughs> no way you can see that. With one of your falters, maybe. Like, it it counts. As long as, counts. As long as your sponsons can see them. Counts. Yeah, but I don't think the main battle cannon can see that. Doesn't matter in this edition. I call shenanigans on that, folks. <laughs> no way you fire a battle cannon in the corner of that. Watch me. Yeah, I've like, seen the fifth element. I can see how that works. Yeah. I don't know how that logic works, but I'm gonna, I don't think I can talk about it either. But any of you who've seen the fifth element and know the director is as crazy as he is. Yeah. Speaking of which, in the fifth element, the the whole uh, Manichaean language that uh, you hear Lilu speaking through the whole thing was a language that she and the director basically wrote on the fly, mm -hmm. and they were actually communicating with each other. In fact, they were making wedding plans doing using that language because they awesome. decided to get married after seeing that movie. <laughs> true, true story. I don't think that marriage lasts more than a few years, though. No, no Hollywood marriage lasts more than a few years. No. Or they're very successful marriages and no one, that's not juicy and no one talks about them. That's encouraging when, when, when marriages like that actually do, actually do come I'd, together. I, I'd like to see, if, if anyone on, out there is actually on, on the chat, I'd like to see anyone look up uh, <gasps> any Hollywood... Uh, T-Dub, yeah. Sorry, you've been our first... Uh, first um, new viewer in a while since this game started so I'm um, sorry I didn't see you sooner T-Dub yes those are Necrons on your right and Imperial Guard not the Astro Militarum the Imperial, Gu Imperial Guard on your left that is true Tamaki if you had to leave take care brother um, if not then um, I, long, long while ago. I don't know it just said you can't stick around for that long we were slated to last two hours and we lasted much longer um, but yeah um, but yeah T-Dub welcome haven't seen you around chat before so hi I'm Steven this is John um, this is Mint Potion's third ever episode of uh, uh, Paradise, which is our tabletop game stream. So yeah, thank you for joining us. Um, yeah. So, um, I can still take out units that I can't see as long as they're part of the unit, correct? No, I don't, I don't see anything saying I can't. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, is that one of the things that changed? In that case, I think that, um... Yeah, you have to be visible to the shooting mob. Yeah. I'm going to take some of my move, my move just straight back. I'm just going to do this. So I'm still grindable. You know what I mean? All right. However. However. 
However, cool. You, however, I'm moving as fast as I darn can. That's more like. Hmm. Okay, okay, music going on in the background here at Min Potion. Sweet. Um, actually, I'm gonna check down real quick. Just check on the stream. Make sure everything's hunky dory. All right. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna put the train piece back. Thank you for that. move this thing's gonna move too. Um you know what? I'm gonna move my hellhound back a bit. And in this direction. Sorry, that's full production process. That's what I meant to say. Three and three quarters. Cool. Yeah, that's another thing as well. Um, and let's do this. Oh, you can go with that. Oh, you can go with this. Oh, you can go with that. Cool. You know what? No, I'm going to do that. Okay, cool. Damn, good to go, bro. Alrighty. Let's roll another one. Same man, the other one. Cool. This one seems about quick. I need another hit. Dude, John, if you'd be so kind as to hold the camera. Enjoy, my friend. I didn't know what we could get away with. <laughs> yeah, actually, I probably shouldn't have said that. Nope, we do try and be family friendly. That's my fault. I apologize, everybody. Um, okay. Really high on my Ooh. I can see that now. I can see that now. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start with the camera. Um, these three shots are gonna be for the uh, multi laser. I need that in front of me though. That's a weapon I've not used this uh, this edition. Um, oh, forever, really. No, I've used it occasionally. When, uh, it's quite the stuff hits the fan weapon. Sure enough. But yeah. Super cool. So super super cool. Oh my god. Dude, I'm sorry. Mm. I forgot. This entire game. We still have 7th edition in our heads, folks. Um, I forgot to give myself a penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons. Oh, I thought your tanks had something moved up around that rope. Um... Does Granny advance? I don't think so, as a matter of fact. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, oh, the, um... Uh... Bane Blade does, yeah. Hold on. Um, there's a distance list. Yeah, we can fire its turban twice. Can we double check the uh, stalker? We have the yeah, no, the um, the the grinding advance does. Yeah, no, I'm. That's why I thought of it now. It's just like I never had a chance. I did not do that for myself for the hellhound, and um, and I apologize for that. So the hellhound got three heavy bolter shots off on you that should not have, and it's only the turret weapons. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, John. I gave myself. The to hit rolls is normal for the spawns in the hull weapon, but it should have only been. Again, I apologize uh, for that. We, 
we are playing this game. Oh, I know, but I want to make sure you heard it from me. That that sucked. I'm sorry. Um, and of course, the Bane Blade doesn't give two craps about whether or not, or one crap for that matter, um, about moving and shooting heavy weapons. I think technically, uh, also the Gauss or the, the twin heavy gases that I've been using against you also the same thing. Cool. Because uh, they are heavy weapons, and I don't see a rule here that says that they get a they get a pass on that. Cool. So, and I think pretty sure I did roll at least one hit that uh, that shouldn't have landed. If it, but uh, they're probably not. Well, actually, he didn't move, so his his was fine. Cool. That one. Cool. That one Sorry I'm not about entirely that. sure about. No, he rolled he rolled Q sixes to hit. Gotcha, gotcha. So regardless, so regardless, that one's fine. This guy didn't move, so he didn't doesn't get a penalty for shooting mm -hmm. heavy weapon. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Cool. And don't worry about the basilisk moving. Um, yeah. <laughs> basilisk moving. <laughs> it's such Contradiction a strange, in terms. Such a strange thing to hear. Um, cool. It's like, it's like saying uh, thunder is silent or military intelligence. <laughs> Those of you in the military don't think that is a slight. That's no, strange. no. We're just enjoying George Carlin. I think no one enjoys George Carlin more than my friend who is a veteran. Yeah. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, so yeah, and also to all of you guys who are actually out there fighting for us, thank you. Thank you for your service, absolutely. And also, Seriously. you probably agree, military intelligence is overly intelligent because they, you you have the smarts on your own to do something that's really probably going to do be more effective than just have, standing there waiting for orders to come down. And, mm. But you have to wait for orders. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, indeed. I know the so, whole meeting yeah. for yep and wait. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't we all? Cool. So yeah, um, three up to hit. You're definitely in 36 inches, and if the dice box weren't here, um, line of sight. Ooh, it's like dragon scale. I know it's snake skin, but I like to call snake skin dragon scale whenever I get a chance. Cause I'm a nerd. I have no idea what kind of skin that is, but yeah. Dragon scale, see? Yeah. <laughs> Might as well be. Yeah. Uh, so four up to hit. Heavy three. Um, One. two. Yeah, that's annoying. Um, six, and your toughness is eight, right? Uh, for the for stalker. stalker. Yeah. Whoa. Don't worry, I'm only. Rolling a die in my hand, folks. We're not having an Seven earthquake, six. which is the concern. Okay, so four up to hit. To wound, excuse me. Well then, um, using a different trio of dice, um, heavy bolter from that same weapon, same model, excuse me. Um, one, one hit. hit. Uh, yep, so five. Uh, no. Um, and um, I'm going to check and see if the laser gun... No. No, they took that out. Yep, that was pretty. Oh, laser gunner is no. Fired a few units and parked the vehicle. Oh my goodness, I can. Laser gunner ray is its own weapon now. Um, yeah, uh, laser gunner ray. Uh, rapid fire three. It's twenty four inches. Should be in range. Uh, uh. That's good. That's not a good, not an easy eyeball. Nope. Okay. You are 30... Or 28. Okay, cool. It's next turn. Plus this point, plus this point, plus Gotcha. But that's good to know, though. Um, I have uh, two laser gun arrays, which are two rapid-fire three weapons that fire 24 inches at strength three. So um, a rapid-fire three laser gun, basically. I can only fire five unit and bark, but I was just like, I only have three guys in there. Is this going to work? And it's totally going... Yeah. Okay. You have a unit and bark. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, then. I'm going to go straight then to the... Um, uh, the Bane of Blades. Um, yeah. And so, um, you are here on the page. Yeah, it's Heavy 3D6. Yeah. Cool. So, Heavy 3D6. Are you shooting at? Oh, the Warriors. I apologize. Okay. So that's 11 shot. Yep. 3, 6, 9, Go ahead and hold the camera, please. Thanks to you, John. Five up. Five up only. Oh. Cool. And um, how many is that? Oh, yeah, because I... Well, yeah, because you, you, you brought like, me down. What are you complaining about? Oh, right. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> what is he complaining about? That's a good sign that you were doing really well. What was... Yeah. Now he's complaining? Of course, now. I'm, not Actually, I can't tell he's winning. That's a good question. 
Um, well, you have first blood, so technically you're winning because you have the only you have yeah. the only kill. So you have two. You have first blood and uh, the kill count. So right. That's two points for you, and I gotcha. have yet to score. Gotcha. So technically you are winning. Yeah. Point. So now it's um, roll the wound. So it's going to be two up to wound. Um, all those went off. That's cool. And it's D six. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's three for each of them. So I do nine. Um, unless you can have a save after negative three. Yeah. So it's uh, well, it's a five, you have the five, five, five up five involved. involved save, which I don't save any. And okay. So nine. I want you to lose. Well, it's three. It's three wounds at three damage. So Correct. So I remove. Cool. I'd like uh, to be a good gamesman and point out to you that you don't have to take him from the front. Yeah, I know. I, I okay. pulled one from the front and take him aside. Okay, cool. Um, go ahead and hang on to this. So we'll just Thank you. What, what model the, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And our new friend T-Dub says, so why do you say Imperial, not Astra? I'm assuming it's the same reason I still do. Yeah, um, because we just don't appreciate um, GW trying so hard to copyright, you know, common, common words just to make a little bit more money than they already are. Yeah. Um, that and it's just a clunky thing to say. Like, and that's that's by design. Like they picked. It's like they came up with Militarum Tempestus as opposed to Stormtrooper. Like it's there to sound convoluted and made up, um, so people can't even accidentally use it, which is ridiculous, and I hate it. Um, so yeah, um, that and it's. I'm just nostalgic for it. Just what I grew up saying. Also because uh, technically it's high gothic, and quite frankly, we're not people who speak high gothic. We speak low gothic. So yeah, 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 yeah. T Dub. And sorry for not for not checking chat more regularly. Um, we had some run of bad luck with the TriCaster, and so I was running off to check and stuff like that, um, which is our, our streaming um, setup. Um, so we've got three twin heavy bolters. That's two, two, th uh, that's three. That's three twin heavy bolters. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, once again, five up. Five ups. Six hit. Um, and it's going to be um, three Please. up to wound, yeah. And Here we go. Okay. Five Better. Wounds. And yep. then these are heavy bolters. So yeah, it's so it's going to be, be negative. Um, minus uh, no. No, 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 no. Negative one um, AP. Okay, in either case, it's still going to be a five up save for me. And I only saved one. We'll take that. So four go down. So let's do you, you, and. separate stack because I need to count how many I actually lost this turn. Cool. And again, none of them come back if I clear the unit out, right? If you clear the unit out, yeah. They oh, God. Man, I want to do that. No, they, they don't come back from the dead dead. <laughs> dead dead. Yeah, T-Dub, it's good to have you around, man. I, did, I think I've only seen you around for 40k, and I apologize if you've been around and I just um, don't recognize you. But uh, if you're here joining us for 40k specifically, or for tabletop specifically, it's good to have you, my friend. Um, so yeah, um, that was so much fun. I want to do that again with my um, heavy stubber. Um, so five up. Oh no. Nope. Okay. Um, so much fun. I want to do that with my auto can. I'm gonna use different colored dice because I can. Because like I love dice. Um, yep. Five up. One. Take, yeah. So seven, six, and be three up to wound. Got it. And, and I believe up. it's uh, AP or damage two. So um, you have negative me. one. I'm sorry? Made my five up in ball. Crap. Okay. Well done. Um, yeah, laser cannons. Uh, five up to wound. Oh, five up to hit. Five up to hit, excuse me. One. One. Two to wound. Two to wound. Made it. And what's the damage? It's uh, laser cannon. D6. D6, yeah. And I failed my mor the test, but it's still one damage against the Yeah, against one model. Cool. Um, it's okay though. I saved the best for last, and I'm gonna use my demolisher cannon. Heavy D3. That's two. two. Um, five or better to hit. One. One. Two better to wound. One. Ah! Yeah. You know what? Just for that, I'm gonna fire the hunter killer. And one five up to hit. Ah! 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 He gets this way sometimes. Yeah. Usually when the dice are against him. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, that's it for the big guy. Yeah, that's it the, the biggest big blade. guy. So the chimera and the bane blade have fired. Yep. yep Here yep, comes yep. everything else. Folks. Dun da da dun dun. There's only the rest of the tanks. Um. So yeah, man. Let's do so, that. So, so yeah, okay. it's a uh, heavy two d six. This bane blade against the same unit of. You mean uh, that uh, Lehman Russ? Sorry, that Lehman Russ. <laughs> that bane blade, the one you don't know, but this. Blade. Um. Yeah, um, you're not. Uh, what's, yeah. his, what's his name? That one imperial commander who disappeared on. <laughs> T-Dub says, thanks man, just chilling, looking through a 40k ARPIC right now. That's dope. Nice. I, that's one of my favorite hobbies. You know, when I, when um, Emperor uh, Texas Beach Device um, came out, I was just like, I have that book. Are these all just from that one book? You can't make a show out of that. Man, was I wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's excellent. Um, you know what, actually? Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot at... This guy has all his wounds, right? Yeah. Hasn't been hurt yet. <sighs> okay. Um, it's kind of, how many warriors are left in it? Two, five, uh, seven, right? Six. 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 Oh, that's that's a lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, six. Left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super you took cool. Eight, yeah, you took eight out, and there was uh, six left. Six missing from the start. Gotcha. And living metal only gets you one wound back, correct? Living metal does not apply to warriors. No, I'm talking. I'm. Uh, looking at the triarch. Oh yeah, Stalker. Only, only one wound. Okay, and but he and he's got ten, right? Yeah. Okay. You know what? I am. I'm gonna shoot at the warrior. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna shoot at the warriors with the uh, with the Lehman Russ. Um. So. So. Two d six. Heavy d six. Okay. Ah 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 um, oh, I'm sorry. Th this is my to hit, and they needed to be four up, so they both hit. Two are better to wound. Hey guys. Okay. Um, my those, um, uh, those dice are getting melted tonight, folks. <sighs> Heavy bolters, and these need to be ones. Oh, wait a minute. Be one. Wait a minute. What am I doing, dude? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm gonna fire again with that threat. There you go. Yeah, D I forgot to actually make good on grinding advance for those two those three Lehman Russ last turn wow well to be fair uh, I, d I did get the demolish off which is the big thing 40 shots that's how I took out that uh, big blob of uh, scarabs yeah I've had a lot going on in my personal life and we're playtesting this so that's funny um, it's okay I only did it on stream um, so yeah um, d6 um, that's more like it Ah, uh, these dice are not going to be melted down. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Depends on how well they maybe, go. Maybe, maybe. No pressure. Maybe. Um, so, um, four up to hit. And that them's the odds. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Two better to wound. That's more like it. Um, okay, go ahead and take your save. It's uh, AP minus two. Five up, five up. Oh, wait, are you talking about shooting at the... This at the warriors. Or? At the warriors. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I uh, can say that. Made, I made one. So. Okay. If he kills one more, then I'm going to definitely lose something when, I have, when it comes time to roll for uh, for morale. That's so? it? Straight roll, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it's like the straight roll added to your leadership minus the wound. Or minus the uh, casualties. So, right. I, so, if... Kill, so far killed oh, this nine. is the way the math works. I thought you were talking about some kind of funny Necron thing. No, gotcha. He's, he's killed nine guys so far. I have mm -hmm. leadership ten. So I have a possibility of rolling a one and not losing anybody for morale. However, if he kills one more, I guarantee you I'm going to lose at least one, possibly the rest of them. Probably going to lose at least two or three to, to morale at least. So you know how many more he whittles off that squad. Yep. Cool. Um... And I didn't even fire the heavy bolters yet. No, I didn't. That's what made me realize that I could um, take advantage of grinding, take advantage of grinding event. So these are the heavy bolters. This one's good. I'm wearing a dice ring, and I'm enjoying hearing the die hitting the dice ring. Got a sample that. Cool. Um, so yeah, these need to be ones, and I apologize again for forgetting. Why Until now, John. Why are they heavy ones? Heavy weapons. Remove. Or uh, they need to be five ups. Sorry. I subtract one. They don't need to be one. Um, go. Um, no, 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 no
Yeah. Oh, oh, pretty good, though. Yeah, that's a whole heavy bolter. Um, and it's going to be three or better to wound. Yeah, and they all wound. Okay, and so it's ne AP negative one. Still five up. And none, so three go down, which is bad, because oh. it means that I am pretty much going to lose this squad when we have more out. Take that bet. Um, so yeah, uh, last but not least, the laser cannon. Um, so this is um, five up to hit. Nope. Okay. Not even mad. Um, already then. Um, and John, this is this is something I'm asking for sheer um, playtesting purposes. Do you think it's worth it to fire at that unit with my basilisk to polish them off, or no. with only two left? Yeah. I'm gonna put the basilisk around straight at the stalker. So again, this is the basilisk yeah, um, cool you, ability. You knocked off eleven models off of this unit. Take that. So. Lucky uh, thirteen. No, I did. One that actually. There's mm -hmm. only two models left. There were six guns and eight plus. So yeah, twelve models. Gone, gone. Cool. That means automatically two off the cuff without even rolling the mm -hmm. two six. And there's only two models left in that unit, so you know, not worth gotcha. shooting anymore. I think they're going to go away, mm -hmm. especially if I can't use the strategy more than once a game. Correct. So which I thought you could use it once per turn. I thought that too, and I realized that I had simply intuited that. Like that's just such a common thing in so many different games. I just double check that. Yeah, no, and I couldn't find it anywhere. It's just like, wait a minute, you only get to, what if you're only like Battle Forge, you have the three stratagems that's not very powerful. And then I realized that that just ends the thing. Um, I think there might be specific stratagems that let you use them more than once a game. Um, but I didn't see anything in there about using a stratagem more than one. Yes, indeed. While John's looking at that, I am going to do some pre-measuring. Which actually used to not be allowed in this game. No, it says you can use the same strategy when doing multiple put. So, yeah. It says right here. You can spend command points to use a strategy before or during a battle. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's that um, uh, your command points don't regenerate. That oh, was no, it. that I That's knew. what I meant to say. It may, for everything I was planning on using myself, that makes the same difference, where there's so many different stratagems that would just use up all of them, that for me, they were one and done. In that My bad. In that case, I retract my statement. In that case, yes, you do want to polish off those last two, because I still have four command points left. So I can, You could just pass automatically and roll I can just automatically your... pass and then roll 18 days. Cool. Okay. So yes, you are going to want to finish that unit off. I thought you could, because you earlier stated, and I uh, mm -hmm. understood it to mean that I can only use a particular strategy once Correct. per Correct. Yeah, no, no, that was my bad. Yeah, no, but that's... No, you can use it multiple times. You can times. use it multiple times, you just don't regenerate command points. Yeah, no, I never expect to right. regenerate command points, but yeah. I have two models left in that unit, and yes, you are going to want to file them off, because if I can use Then you're just going to bring them right back. I'm just going to yeah. bring them right back. And okay, yeah. gotcha. Okay, so I'm glad we talked about that. That was really productive. That was dope. Um, yeah, so 2d6 for... Um, this is just going to be a shaky cam, unless I have you hold it for me, sir. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, I thought I hit the hold button. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, roll 2d6 and discard the lowest. So, uh, 4. So, it's heavy. Um, heavy 4. Um, these all need to be 4-ups um, uh, to hit. This is the basilisk at that unit of warriors. 3 hit. 2 up to wound. Two. Okay, so take your saves. I get a five. I'm still in the game. No, they're gone. The camera's too too blurry for me to see what it was. That was really suspenseful. I just that had to wait for John to call it. God, that it was, was nice. A four and a one. Nice. Okay, so that's them. So and that's one pile of necro. My luck. I think that one of those lords or cryptex was one of that unit, but they weren't. <sighs> Listen Whoa. to that. Can you hear all that clinking polystyrene? Beautiful sound. It's the sound of the Imperium. The sound of the Imperium's built on. Clinking polystyrene. Really, I thought it was the whales of dead sacrifice. Yeah, actually, it's way more accurate. <laughs> Super cool. Okay, that feels good. So, um, officially, that's the second kill point. Yeah. Super cool. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah. Alright, so that fired, that, that fired, fired, that fired. This fired, whole half the fired. table, let's go to this half, and... And now we get to see your back. Fish. Orson Welles became famous for actually being the first person to show a shot of someone's back. So, I'm like it, Orson Welles. Yeah. No, for the longest time, it was 
it was just considered like bad form and he had no formal training so he was just like that's kind of stupid and wait a minute no one's done this shot before i'm gonna do it so that scene where they're watching footage and you just see people's you just see men's backs like that was the first ever i'm sure there was like news footage with just like people walking around and stuff like that but that was the first like narrative project to show someone's back Fair enough. just mm -hmm. like I spoke, just like uh, alfred Hitch alfred hitchcock was, was the first guy to show a flushing toilet i was just gonna say that yeah 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 and psycho almost got banned for it yeah exactly yeah toilets cause you to kill people don't don't be careful yeah forget the stabbing be careful that one scene oh yeah and all the naked Naked people? Oh, yeah, God. The, the stabbing and the nudity. Yeah. And nope, the none of that. Nope. The, they couldn't... The, the, the way the scene was shot, the censors couldn't get a single frame that they could point to and say that that's offensive. It, so they, especially because they didn't have a way of blowing things down. So they couldn't really stop it. They were like, well, here, you, that's the bit where, where you can see. No, he shot it in such a way that you couldn't tell. But the one thing that he said that he, he did a long, steady, focused shot with a flushing toilet, and the movie almost had to cut that scene because they wouldn't yeah. let him play it. It was like, a flushing toilet? Yep. Everyone sees this every day. Yeah, well, it scares me. So, personally, I'm glad they tried, and I'm angry that they didn't, but, you know. Only hydrophobic no. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's funny. Moving right I along. hate the 70% of the inside of my body. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to grinding advance. I'm not going to forget that anymore. Um, actually, this is the one tank. The first tank I remember that for. Um, I'm going to grinding advance fire on your destroyers. Okay, with Do what? They have, uh, with the Punisher. Okay. Do they have any funny... Um, um, do they have any funny Necron stuff? Like uh, something, some special version of um, uh, Ever Living or anything like that? Give me animation protocol. Okay, cool. Um, they're, they are tough than five. Oh boy. But they are a little tougher than your average bear, and they have three plus saves, okay. and three wounds apiece. Yeah, the stories are no joke. No joke. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Um, grinding advance, so this is going to be heavy 20. Um, go ahead and click that, sir. Um, and I'm going to check to make sure the stream is still up. Unfortunately, that's why we're upgrading equipment, is because that's not a guaranteed thing. Um... Don't but yeah, no, right we've been now. streaming for quite some time. And fully successful. Super oh, cool. Song request. All right. Song request. Do you guys have song request? We sure do. Um, or let me, let me, we sure should, I should say. Uh, let me check on that, t -Dub. Um Go ahead and keep him entertained, John. I'll be right back. So for my next trick, I'm going to pull a rabbit out of a hat, which I don't have, so I guess I can't pull a rabbit out. Uh, hmm. Well, you guys aren't going to start stare at me this whole time because, quite frankly, I'm not worth looking at. So, uh, back to 40K News for those of you who have been keeping track of the releases. Uh, so, we just had our uh, IG Codex release. Yay. Uh, Nari is probably next. We're probably getting more coming out soon. There are more models coming out as well. Uh, theories for the next Primark, like we said before, uh, is probably going to be. Uh, possibility is going to be Robo Dorn, but maybe we're going to get. Uh, um, the Lion is our next uh, loyalist Primark. Though, if you believe some theories, you might not be all that loyal. Uh, beyond that, uh, we're expecting, I think the official number of codices we're expecting to receive before the end of the year is 10 total. We have had, uh, I think, seven so far. In the, the next one out is going to be... Uh, no, we've had eight so far. Hello. We had uh, Space Marines, uh, Death, uh, Space Marines, Death Watch, uh, Death Guard, uh, Ray Knights, uh, IG, and I'm no, I'm forgetting at least two others. But yeah, we've gotten uh, pretty much most of the codices out, so we're probably going to get at least two more this this year, and then the rest will be coming out shortly thereafter next. Yes, indeed. Um, T-Dub, unfortunately, we do not have that capability. Um, that's that's going to require a plug-in through Twitch in order for in order to work. Um, we have someone in our Discord who would definitely know how to fix that, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get that going during this stream. Um, so I'm personally going to uh, to contact this guy and drop it in our stream suggestion box, which is a um, uh, one of the threads on our Discord. So, um, and you can do that yourself, you know. And the more attention something gets, obviously, 
um, the more people we're going to have on it. So if there are like other people in our Discord who are that good, who are Twitch developers who can do that, um, then we totally could. So unfortunately, my friend, right now, um, we're not going to be able to, but hopefully in the near future. Um, and I don't think you were around when I said it, but we're going to take a week off from streams because we're upgrading our equipment. Um, so um, it's um, entirely possible. Um, I can't make any guarantees. It'll be ready by the time we have our next episode. Cool. Um, and what I'm going to do next is uh, roll those 40 dice um, against that unit of destroyers. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Oh, yeah. that time he actually can get them all in his hands. Yeah, definitely. Cool. He didn't worry. Super cool. Thank you for being so understanding, T Dub. Whoa. 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 Three down. Cool. Yeah, that's important thing to keep track of. Oh, so satisfying. Hitting on sixes, right? <laughs> you only have two words left in that tank. I'm asking this. Oh, seriously. my goodness. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Um, no, it's right in front of me, so I don't have to roll first. Um, that's exactly right. Oh, my God. I think I... Yeah, that changes things. Um, I really hope I didn't move more than four inches, but I don't think so. I forgot about those ones. Um, I only moved four... Like, up to five for grinding advance, because that's half my... I moved four something, because my move I have to be under half, and I'm at well, ten wounds. I'm, I'm letting you have it, but I'm just remind you. reminding you. Yeah, for sure. Hit on six, just, no, no, no. Yeah, definitely. I thought that was a joke at first. I was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. But no, that's exactly right. So, thank you, John. We're all learning, um, most definitely. I had a really good shooting turn last game. He had a really good shooting turn last game. So, um, I'm just going to take out the ones that did hit. Um, and yeah. that's the... You got a lot more in there. I got. I, I think I beat the odds. Uh, let's see. How many did you pull? Seven. Yeah, that's definitely above the uh, above average because on uh, a cool. roll roll of forty, one sixth of that could be six. Actually, so actually, you know, you're within the standard deviation. Okay, gotcha. Cool. I'm glad you can do that math up up your head, John. I um. I haven't had to for a long time, but I want to yeah, get back to that. If you had rolled nine, that would be outside. Be awesome. Um, cool. So, let's... Yeah. So, Give I've got six you. dice, seven dice to play with. Yeah. So, it's going to be... What's your toughness? Five? Uh, five, yeah. Okay. So, it's going to be four up to wound. And Two of them. No, three of three. them. Okay. And AP minus... Um, oh, wait, I don't think I have... Dead. Yeah. Uh, Punishers, yeah, I think that should be flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So AP flat, which Hardly. means that these are three up saves. Right. So I lost two wounds off of one destroyer. And they all have three wounds, right? Yeah. Okay. Didn't set this guy up. For sure. And put him on this guy. Cool. That's what I would do. Um, cool. So you, that was the main Gatling cannon. Now you have yeah. your sponsor mounted heavy bolters. No, I was sponsor mounted plasma cannons. Plasma cannons, heavy bolters. Tomatoes, <laughs> it's like comparing a uh, potato gun to a Colt 45. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with the laser That's cannon. Accurate. I'm going to start with the Thank you, John. I'm going to start with the laser cannon. So six to hit. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, I'm going to go straight for the... Um, I'm going to write this guy off as almost completely dead and go for... Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to supercharge my plasma cannons, yo. Um, so yeah, so it's going to be, each of these is going to be heavy D3. Um, nice. I got three and two. The five cap. Oh yeah. Okay. There's only, don't roll any ones. No ones. One, six. Cool. So this is going to be strength eight minus three. So that's going to be, um, your toughness five. So three up to one. Well then. Okay. All right. So. Uh, okay. Um, what's the range on the gauss cannon? 24. And what's the range on the heavy gauss cannon? 36. Uh, 
Um, which would you say is a bigger threat to me, John? Scarabs? Destroyers? Well, considering that you can't see me to overwatch with, I would say the Scarabs. The Destroyer, because the, the, the Scarabs are going to get 